And we should be live, hopefully. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> Took a few extra minutes to set everything up, but I still managed to get here on time. Let's go. I, um... We're going to be playing more VR. We're going to be trying to play more VR. I figure if all this fails, I could always pop on another game or we could do true crime. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Sorry. It's been extra messy lately, though, zombie. And that's on me. That's not anyone else. It's just been I've been doing stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna dismiss that. <laughs> what? No, no zombie, no. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Hopefully the mic sounds normal and all that. Is my boy working? My boy is working. Yeah. So I don't. We're just gonna play spooky, scary game. That's really gonna be it. There's nothing else really going on. Um. <clears throat> At one point, I do want to set up the, um, oh my god, the heart monitor again, but do it with VR. There is a way for me to do that. I did not, like, go balls deep and actually look into it and set it up. Um, unfortunately, because I do the binding thing and I don't, like, essentially have them to titties out, um, it makes that whole thing a lot harder because, yo, nice, zombie makes it a lot harder because I basically need to have titties out in order to put the heart monitor on. At least the heart monitor that I currently have. And I don't really want to, I can't justify spending money on another heart monitor. <laughs> I feel like this one still has use in it. But yeah, between sensory stuff and other things, I just don't feel as comfy. But at some point soon, I'm going to have to, especially if we continue playing horror games. I have a few other games that I want to play with y'all, and they're horror games, so... I don't know how hard or difficult or tricky or weird this one is. Um, so no promises on anything. I just kind of wanted to see what the game had in store and see how, how much I could play. Uh, I did take motion sickness meds. Aw. I did take motion sickness meds, so that shouldn't be an issue. I've had food. I had breakfast. I'm on day four of tea. Oh, nice. I'm on day four of uh, tea. I'm still trying to be as active as I can within reason. I have a um, little workout routine that lasts usually between half an hour to an hour, depending on how much I push myself and or um, like how slow I take the reps and stuff. You shouldn't race through your workout, but at the same time, there are some days where I race through certain parts or I, I know I speed up certain parts and it's not good, but it happens. Um... I'm just trying to be healthier. Um, I've been doing the work that workout routine in the evening uh, after I come home from work. And then um, I'm trying to do 20 minutes of bike every day. And then if I don't walk to work, a little bit of treadmill every day. I'm trying. Well, no, we're not going to go in and modify anything. Shush, hypnotic. <laughs> Shush. I wanted to go to Hawaii during our trip. So we're going there a couple of days before Japan. Nice. Nice. I'm excited to see what changes happen on tea. I know I've said it before, but... Ah! I'm only four days in. Anything notable probably won't happen until at least two weeks in. And it could take up to actual months, depending on how my body takes it and everything. It's annoying. But I am feeling better uh, with the exercise, with the cutting the junk food out. I am feeling a lot better. Um, I'm just hoping I can get a little stronger. Mmm, not quite. There is a thing that happens, but it's not necessarily balls. <laughs> I would need actual surgery for that, and I, mm, mm, I'm not quite, I'm not quite there yet. It's something that I kind of am interested in, but it's so involved and invasive, and it takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of recovery time. <laughs> At some point, top surgery is actually like my main. If I could do anything, I would. <laughs> Imagine cutting out chicken never be my bad. Oh no. You can have good food and still not junk food. I don't know. A lot of the foods that I like snacking on I had a habit of like leaning on energy drinks when I would get overstimulated or when I would get stressed out and I needed energy because I was tired because I didn't go to sleep when I was supposed to or I didn't get enough sleep as I really should have. And 
I've also been making an effort to try to get a little more sleep at times. Some days I still am really bad about it, but I'm trying to overall get more sleep and have more of a regular sleep schedule, which I think is helping too. I'm getting up between 7 and 8 every every um every morning. Apply the tea gel, let it dry, get dressed, get ready for the day. And <laughs> my body cannot digest anything that ain't burgers and Oh no! Soda, soda isn't beer. I know for a fact soda is one of the things there. Um, but yeah, I have the VR all set up. I did it ahead of time. I tried to be smarter. God, I love eggnog. Uh none of the local stores that I'm aware of have the vegan eggnog out yet. Like the kind that I like. I'm very picky about the brand. <laughs> I'm very, very picky about the brand. Uh. It's got to be the right thickness, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I would... I, I, fell, I fell into slumps of, like, drinking a lot of energy drinks because I work in a, um, like, generic retail grocery store. Um, front end specifically, which probably doesn't help, I would tend to reach for more comforting type snacks, which were usually the more unhealthy ones, like chips, that kind of thing. I'm not doing that. I haven't for a while. Instead, I'm subbing, I'm substituting that out for things that are either better for me, uh, with like vitamins and minerals and stuff, fresher food, that kind of thing, or things that have like protein and will stick with you. So like the big thing that I probably randomly grab the most is up front in the checkout lanes along with the chips and stuff there's also like bags of nuts i grab that i snack on that instead i'm making an effort to actually pack away for snacking at work like little cups of applesauce or um i found these really yummy granola bars that happen to be vegan um and they also have 10 grams of protein per bar it's kind of awesome i'm trying to take in a certain amount of protein per day because i am doing the exercise that i am doing it's nothing crazy, but it's enough that I want to make sure that my muscles are being taken care of when I am doing the exercise because I want recovery time to be faster. I want to be able to wake up the next day and do more. <laughs> fair enough. <coughs> That's totally fair. I'm not shitting on anyone else's diet. It's just for me. I'm trying to do better. My mom's been really awesome. She does the meal planning. That's, like, the big thing she does around the house. And uh, she's been picking more, like, less processed meals or more simple meals in terms of, like, here's a simple protein, i.e., like, beans or tofu or tempa. Uh, it's easier for your body to, like, take in and absorb, and it's also usually better for you. And then here's some fresh veg, or here's, you know, veg that isn't canned or frozen, which adds to the nutrients that you're pulling in and all that. So, Yeah. <clears throat> I've lost a tiny bit of weight, but my goals aren't really weight based. They're more just feeling better <laughs> and being able to like lift more and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Really? I don't know. I really like tofu. <laughs> I like baked tofu. I like fried tofu. I like tofu pureed in things because it can make things creamy. Um, my biggest go to is either baking or frying, just simple baker fried uh, tofu. And then just that mixed in or on top of a salad is so good. Tofu scrambles good or it's probably, it probably should be called like tofu saute because it's usually just tofu and vegetables with whatever like seasonings you want. You can make it eggy with nutritional yeast, um, black salt, uh, and I always add pepper. But yeah, that kind of stuff. I can't wait until my voice actually changes. That's probably the biggest thing that I'm actually excited about. Because I think it's probably this... Everything's a roll of the dice. But from everything that I've looked at, that's one of the first changes to like actually occur that's noticeable. Usually. Because, again, roll of the dice, genes, all that. How your body takes in the tea. But, yeah. I'm really excited to see how much my voice changes over the course of like a year, year and a half. And, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Just like sometimes when you're on tea, from what I've from what I've read and from information I've taken in from what's available online, um, from others who have also taken tea, sometimes your throat actually can hurt or be sore or you can have mild issues in the very beginning when it starts to change just because I guess 
so much is changing, which is funky. It's not something I thought of. <laughs> I figure if that happens with me, because it doesn't seem to happen with everyone, then plenty of hydration, plenty of tea, maybe some cough drops, that kind of thing, to try to take care of what I can take care of. Recently, for like my bicep curls and my overheads, I've been doing like a few reps with my basic baby five pound weight. But from the last set of reps, I've been bumping up to an eight pound weight, and like God, that burns so bad, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to try to do it as long as I basically feel up to it every day because I want to slowly build up. But yeah, uh, I forget the name of it. Lateral? Later, lateral lifts, maybe? I don't know the actual fucking name. You essentially T-pose. So you're standing there, shoulders back, eyes front, and you literally like T-pose with the weights. You pull them up along your side with your arms straight out. And the goal is you want to pull them up slowly and like hit it so that it's like level with either your neck or like the beginning of your um jaw. And then slowly put it back down. And then obviously do that a bunch of times because rep. I can only do between 20 to 30 of those a night. Because holy fuck it burns. <laughs> and that's with baby weights. Like there are certain exercises that I didn't think would burn as much as they do. And they fucking burn. I think it's because it's just uh, muscles that I haven't used in like forever. So they're like negative stat points right now. I'm just trying to get to the neutral ground. <clears throat> that and core work stuff is my enemy. I mostly do crunches, um, a very little bit of plank, like literally under a minute of plank because I can't hold myself up for that long in that position because it's working everything. Um, scissor kicks and bicycle kicks. I can barely do any of those, but I'm doing crunches. I'm doing, oh, what's the name? There's another funky one that you do. Oh my god, I don't remember the name of it. Bridge. I am I do 20 crunches, 20 bridge. Bridges? 20 of that one every evening. And I feel like I'm struggling less overall, but I still struggle a lot. It's still, it's still going to be a process. It's not an overnight thing. Uh, so I kind of sort of... Endo spoiled this game for me because I hit a point where I didn't think I was ever going to get to play this game. But I don't actually remember, like, anything from what he mentioned about this game. So I don't know if it's if it's done in, like, night segments or if it's done different. I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've even seen, like, true to... I, I think maybe I've seen one screenshot that Endo showed me. And it just looks like it, from what I remember, which is very fucking cloudy and foggy. Uh, it just looked like a... A birthday party with a cake. That's all that I remember. <laughs> I have not played this game before. I've not watched anyone play this game before because I always kind of hold out hope that I was going to be able to get a headset at some point, even like a really low end one, so I could play. Um, because this is one of the games that everyone's just like, if you're going to play it, you should definitely play it in VR. It's not worth playing if you're not playing in VR. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll wait. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't know what happens in this game. All I know is it's FNAF and it's spooky. I don't know what the game's actually going to entail. I also want to put a disclaimer. I have it set up again, just like the last couple of VR streams. I'm I'm, I'm playing seated. So if the game requires me to be standing, I, I might have to postpone the stream and like do like a test stream with it where I'm standing. I don't have a lot of space. That's the biggest issue so far with the VR. I have... Oh, God. I haven't had any issues technically, really, from the VR aspect and point of things. I've had a lot of fun in the games that I have played with this headset. It's a really awesome, really high-quality headset. But the biggest downside for me personally is just my lack of space. If I had, like, an actual, like, full room to myself or even a half room to myself, it wouldn't be an issue. I could just wander for the most part. But I do not have that. That's why I've really set up all of the streams and most of the games that I've played off-stream so far. Um for either testing purposes or just goofing around purposes, I've set them all up seated because that's the best option for what I have available right now. 
So, if there's a part of the game that has issues or gets awkward and I can't do a thing because I'm seated, I don't know if that'll just be end game for me or not. I do have some true crime videos downloaded. We could we could transfer from this to true crime. Uh, there's obviously Fallout is always an option. Uh, I'm trying to think. I have not downloaded Atomic Heart. Hypnotic gifted me Atomic Heart. We will be playing that at some point as well. Because as far as I'm aware, it is Twitch approved. It is okay to play. Which I'm very excited for. Because the game looks really fun. But yeah. So I don't know. I don't really know how the stream's going to go. But I thought it'd be fun to goof around. And I kind of wanted to play something spooky. Because it's Halloween. Well, it's it's Halloween month. It's spooky month. Although, honestly, starting this month on, I want to be, like, randomly actually diving into horror games. I have a few indie games that I'm looking at. One that Endo actually recommended that looks really sick. <coughs> oh, God. Um, on Halloween. What was the name of the game that I said we're playing on Halloween? It's another scary game. It's the... E. <coughs> I forget the name of it. We played the quarry, and it's like, the quarry is the spiritual successor the quarry is like this spiritual success. Yes. Yes. Where it's not actually technically, but kind of, sort of. It's really weird from what I've seen. Like, spoiler free. Because, again, I obviously don't want the, the t Until Dawn spoiled. But yeah. Shush. I am going to continue the games. I know I have to. I want to play more Halo Infinite with you, honestly. That, sh that shit busting. Off stream, I've been playing Halo Infinite, and oh my god. Oh my god. Halo is just a bro is a, is a straight up bro game. Like you just play it with the homies and just enjoy yourself. But yeah, no. If I play it, when I start playing Baldur's Gate again, I'm probably going to restart it because I just, I essentially just started. Um. Trying to think. Cult to the Lamb is a game that we can work through because we started that one. I do want to actually, like, continue playing it. The biggest thing with a lot of games that I abandon or I, like, where that kind of thing happens, it's usually because I hit a technical issue with either my set setup or something going on and or I feel like it's not entertaining to watch anymore. Yeah, Halo is busting. That's my biggest issue. I think I need to hit fuck it more overall and just be like, I don't care. I'm just going to play. I don't care what people think or what, uh, how entertaining it may or may not be. I'm just going to play game. Like, uh, Cult of the Lamb is a big one for that. A lot of them are a big one for that. Baldur's Gate's a big one for that because I was like, I, before with Baldur's Gate, it's not only that I'm not really familiar with that type of game and how it plays because it has been forever and a day since I played a game that's set up like Baldur's Gate is, but also because I would go quiet for long bits of time and I hate that. I like the games where I can either react to stuff and I feel like it's consistent back to back reactions or I can hear the music through my fucking VR headset or alternatively. It's, um, something that I can just, like, kind of, like, shoot the shit and either talk with chat or talk amongst myself whilst I play the game, and that's somewhat interesting. That's the biggest issue I have, but, yeah, we're gonna finish the, f we're gonna finish Fallout London. I'm excited for that. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I would like to jump back into Cult of the Lamb and actually play that game somewhat seriously. If we do Baldur's Gate, when we do Baldur's Gate, I'm going to be restarting it. Baldur's Gate is also a massive game. It's going to take a while. Like, even even when I am more focused on it, it's going to take a while. Team Fortress 2 was another one that I wanted to play. I have a bunch. And I have a few, like I said, specifically horror games. Because I was like, ooh. Like, I want to revisit Subnautica. But I want to do it with a couple of mods to help me. Because I'm very directionally challenged. And I have issues. Like, I genuinely fucking do. Because the only alternative to that would be to have Endo with me every stream. Which I don't... I love Endo. Do not get me wrong. He is my brother. But I don't really want him over my shoulder. It's why Endo kind of disappeared from the channel for a huge bit. Because I just... It was too much. Every once in a while, a little bit of Endo. Very fun. Very nice. Every stream? Not not really my cup of tea. Honestly. 
Um, Endo might actually sit in and watch me play Until Dawn just to kind of laugh at me and the decisions I make because he is a massive fan of Until Dawn. He has managed to not throw spoilers my way, but he's watched like multiple multiple people play through it and he already told me a while ago that whenever I do play it, he wants to like sit in if he can just to just to literally watch the decisions that I make and kind of point and laugh as like an in-house audience. So that might be a thing. Probably, maybe, kind of. <clears throat> Where did my page go? Oh, also, also, for people who... I, did I mention on stream that I was having issues with how the windows were set up? I can't remember if I did or not. I am, like, very negative brain cells, goddamn. So what happens when I don't stream often. I forget things. Uh, I was having issues with my windows, not that they're, or my monitors, not that they're like broken or anything. They still work just fine. It's just the actual like layout of them. And I went through the layout settings. I went through the actual ports on the PC, uh, tweaked things, tried to see if I could fix it. I couldn't fix it. Uh, I swapped the actual ports on the monitor and it looks like it's mostly okay. Um, it's still, everything is still starting in the wrong monitor, which is annoying. Well, that's, okay, so bro always does that. And this is not me being mean, this is just me saying things. Take that as you will. Bro does that because bro does not currently have a job, because bro has chronic pain and cannot afford to buy the game. So he does the YouTube thing and the Twitch thing where he hops on and he watches people play the games to kind of get that craving of, like... Wanting to know what the story is like and everything without having to purchase said games. He also, when he hyperfixates on a thing, which I think is funny because that's very much a thing that me and a lot of the uh, neurodivergent folk in the household do. When he is interested in anything, he fucking deep dives the motherfucker. It is everything that he lives and breathes for like anywhere between, I think the quickest I've seen him go through it is like 20 hours to 24 hours all the way up to it being months long. So he'll watch a playthrough or part of a playthrough or a clip or something. That'll pique his interest. Then he'll have to watch at least a single uh, clean playthrough of whatever game it is. And then he'll deep dive into like a ton of side videos having to do with like lore of the game and like other things. And yeah. <clears throat> the games that Endo usually plays are literally Rocket League. I think that's the name of the one with the cars playing soccer. Rocket League and... Um, Oh, what's the other one? Well, Fortnite, of course. Terraria randomly, although he kind of binged that game, and I don't think he has much else to do in that game. I'm trying to think of any other games that he's currently playing. I think that's all the games that Bro is currently playing. I think. I is Splatoon is kicking my ass. Splatoon 3, specifically. So I'm on the second... I'm playing the main story mission. Or main story mode. Because it's fun. Uh, also, Rip Wizards. Wizards should have won. Wizards was the better class. What the fuck is up, Splatoon? What is going on? Brothers? That was the wrong winner. Ninjas should not have won. They just shouldn't. No one would act... Nah. There ain't no goddamn... Unless it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But yeah, so... Uh, I'm playing the main story of Splatoon 3. And I'm doing it in my spare time like everything else, which I don't have a ton of because of everything that's going on. Um, I'm on the second island in the progression, and I'm stuck at this fucking level where you have to shoot the fucks. I, I'm, I, I, I don't think I can go into more description. Where you have to shoot the boxes and targets as you're moving, and you have to shoot them in time to continue the path so you can keep moving. Holy fuck, I keep dying. I literally have spent probably around an hour at this point just trying to beat that fucking level. It's so annoying. And up until now, I've been playing every level, which uh, up until now, it's still early in the game where I'm only on the second island. But up until now, I've been playing each level. And if it has multiple options for that level, I'm playing it through every time. I'm not going to be able to do that with this bitch. Or I'm going to have to log some serious hours because my aim is ass. And I, yeah, <laughs> I'm just... I keep dying. <clears throat> I keep dying. And I'm using the weapon. I've tried using the alternate weapons. But uh, the one that it recommends for that level is essentially 
almost like a bucket you just splat paint with. It's because, I think it's because it has to do specifically with timing and hand or, hand-eye coordination. Both things I'm really fucking bad at. Like, really bad at. So, yeah. That's where I'm at now. I kind of rage quit. Technically, I think I can continue the island without finishing that single one. I'm not 100% sure. Do not quote me on that. I... I've only, I've, this is the first Splatoon game that I've played. I would like to actually play, like, the first one and the second one genuinely because I do like how all the levels are set up and broken down. But I literally have the final, the final, like, boss for that island to actually go up against and the level that I was talking about. I've finished every other one multiple times because most of the levels have multiple options. Like I said, I was trying to clear each option out just because I was like, fuck it, I'm already here. I want to beat it each way. Also, part of me finds it kind of interesting intrig and intriguing in most levels that it gives you the option to play through with different weapons. Because it really does change kind of how you have to go at certain levels, which it ups the level of challenge, which is kind of nice. I think that's kind of really cool. <laughs> also, also, there's a lot of adults that play Splatoon. Shut Shut face right now. I'm bad at games. You you know I'm bad at games. Everyone should know I'm bad at games. Everyone fucking carries me in games. <laughs> Everyone. <coughs> uh. But that's where I'm at with Splatoon. I haven't played any more Pokemon in a minute. I, Again, part of the problem I have is I just don't have a ton of free time. I get distracted easily, which doesn't help. And the free time that I do have is also... Some of them probably are. I'm not the only motherfucker out here. Ain't no goddamn way. Um, part of the thing that I struggle with is that I have the 40 hours a week at work, obviously. But then I'm trying to do things on a, somewhat on a schedule. Because I kind of should have to do things on a schedule. And it takes so much time to also do things correctly like the whole doing the exercises and not rushing or trying not to rush and then after I exercise I have to well I don't I don't have to but I should and I am because it helps um throw together like a protein shake and a snack and that takes time and energy and effort and it's like oh god oh lord <clears throat> just like going on tea apparently my bones are gonna get stronger what the fuck what the fuck? Motherfuckers, apparently, uh, I did some digging because, of course, um, that's what I do. Apparently, when you hop on E, you just get weaker. Well, I mean, a bunch of stuff happens. You don't just, but, like, a big side effect is, like, you actually do get weaker, like, bones and stuff. And it's like, oh, God, that sucks. What? No. So, a lot of people taking E take supplements to try to kind of, like, combat that as well as, like, do certain types of exercises to combat that. Not specifically, obviously, the bone thing, but, like, just in general. Which I think is fair. I think anyone on HRT or anyone going on to HRT, if they can, like, if they if they actually can in their day-to-day -day life, just be a little more active overall. Not necessarily, like, a full-on workout because that's a lot, but I feel like that's a good idea just because you're essentially pushing yourself into another puberty. It's just a good way to burn off that energy. Ugh. Oh, we got pumpkins. Moon, were we going to do the pumpkins, like, later today? I don't know. I didn't know when we were carving them. Last night, I had work 9, or yesterday, I had work 9.30 to, like, 6.30. And end of my shift at work, we picked out pumpkins. So we have pumpkins. I'm snoozing that bitch. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to full screen gaming. Um, and I'll throw the headset on and of course all that. I have to tweak a couple things on here, so it'll probably be mostly silent. It'll just be whatever my headset VR mic is picking up because it's going to switch inputs or I'm going to have to manually switch inputs. Inputs will be switched, is what I'm saying. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me switch... So last time when I was playing VR with the mic, um, the VR mic was also picking up headset or something. So I'm going to have desktop on and I'm also going to have um, the VR headset mic on. I'm switching the mic right now, so I'm going to probably get quieter because it's right now on the floor next to me. 
Am I quieter? I should be. All right, switching the things, doing the things. You guys are going to have to tell me if the audio is bad or not. I do have Discord or Discord. I do have chat already preset on my VR stuff, so I should be able to just pull up chat. Probably. Ooh. Probably, possibly, maybe. Ooh. It's blurry. It's funky. Let me re-put the things where they need to go. Let me get on my desk. They're on my desk. <laughs> Alright, I already have it basically set up. So if I do this... No! Where did it go? Okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. If it'll let me fix this. Why is it not... I am selecting you. Okay. I have no idea. I'm going to try and game and see what's going on there. Because I have OVR on and all that. Okay. Let's go ahead and play. Play. Alright, let me scoot back. Woo. Let me scoot back. I'm kind of annoyed that this isn't... Because I had it set up before stream. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hopefully you guys can hear everything. Oh, oh god. Hey, it's an agreement. Govern your use of Five Nights at Freddy. Help one of us through application. All future updates. If any future expansion games to be governed by a separate agreement, you shall be asked to agree to that agreement. Uh, the term company hi. shall refer to Scott Games. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I agree. I, uh, my, Apple already owns my soul. Google probably also owns my soul. Multiple entities own my soul. Steel wool, let's go! My fucking G's. Oh, oh. Oh, my fingers don't move. What the fuck? I have the, I, my fingers should move. What the hell? New get wait, options. Options. Yes. Maybe. There we go. General. Oh, it's just <laughs> subtitles. We're going to turn them on. Back. <laughs> Back. I'm leaning into my desk. Back. New game. I like the pizza icon. That's really cute. Hey, look, it's the things. And it's also the... Th oh, my fucking God. Oh, okay. What's going on, Doc? Freddy Enter Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age. And what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? Is there supposed to be audio? Hey, Nub! How you get... How you doing? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last... Oh! Loosely based on actual events. Oh! Frebdy. It's Frebdy. Frebdy, come back. We're above laughing at ourselves. Oh! Hi, guys! I like the Withers. The Withers are probably my favorite. I don't like him. Into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that this can finally move past these childish ghost stories. So the ghost stories aren't canon. And develop a new relationship with you. As well as your kids. Don't forget the merch. Perfect for birthdays. <laughs> what the fuck? We do, however, ask they- Oh! Oh, no, I still don't have hands. It just- Oh, I can do- Oh! No, it has to be down on my lap. Oh, I can do the thing. Oh, oh. Oh, what is going on? Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you in any way- in any harmful way! Guys, I don't know about this. Hi. There should be audio? Why? Why can't I hear it? Okay, give me one second. It's gonna look- oh, okay, well I wasn't trying to do that. I'm trying to- boy. 
Boy, if you don't, we're gonna... Hello. Frebdy, don't do that. Okay, give me one second. Let me see why I'm not getting audio. All is good. How are you guys doing? Oh, well, Windows is trying to stop the game from... Windows is trying to stop the game from being on my PC! Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Allow access. Uh, I thought it was a weird choice for me to be... Okay, wait. Let me make sure. Oh, that would be why. No, that should be... Huh. Why is it? No, I can definitely hear that. Yeah, I definitely can hear that. When does this mean a little scary bitch? Yes. Um, hmm. The only thing I think to do is restart the game. We could do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I would like to experience the game as 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 Scott Cawthon intended, or Steel Wolves, I guess, because Scott Cawthon isn't like fully. Wait. Whoop. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, uh... A good game. Confirm. I don't know why it's all fun. Oh, because I had my headset up, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna restart the VR headset. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, my game being weird. We good? Boys, we good? The fuck? We good? We okay? Okay. Let me- let us try this again. That doesn't count. That didn't count. That didn't happen. <laughs> Immersive Freddy. It is a very basic house. The setups for VR are really basic. Okay. Take two. Hopefully, uh, we need audio. It's a horror game. We need audio. I want to be able to boop him. I need to boop him. Dude, I didn't even know. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You could not do that. You could walk away, brother man. I didn't even notice the fucking tables and shit. Oh my God. VR is beautiful. Okay, the options didn't have, like, audio options, so let me see if we have audio. Oh, I cut out the beginning? Well, that's sad. So we sold, sold our soul. I just, I want to know if we're supposed to be seeing things or doing things or what. So we're definitely playing each of the nights, so this is going to be ass. Prize counter? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, my game is... Why is my VR wigging out? What is happening? Holy shit, what is happening? This shit funny. This shit funny. I was having zero issues. Quit to title. It's not even letting me select things. Quit to title? Maybe? I'm gonna restart the VR. Yeah, I think I'm gonna restart the VR. It's the only thing I can think to do. Because it's, it's wigging out right now. Oh! That looks weird. Oh yeah, that looks very weird. Okay. This is pissing me off because like I had everything preset. I was proud of myself. I was like, I'm going to log on like a whole 45 minutes before stream. I'm going to set things up. This mini screen thing inside the VR environment. How readable is the tech? Pretty readable. Pretty, pretty readable. Okay, I'm going to take this off. I don't have hands anymore. They're ghost hands. I'm gonna restart the VR. Maybe it's just because I had it sitting. I don't know. 
Uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to put on the other mic for you guys. There you go. That should be the better mic. Okay. Why do I always have audio uh, issues when I start streaming? Um. Yes. I barely touched anything, but so much of the VR stuff is uh, tweakable, depending on what you're using it for, which is really cool. <clears throat> um. Okay, let me quit. I also want to try to do a thing because last time I had to do this. Well, I was definitely, I, that's definitely not because I was playing on my Switch and I wanted to use my PC and <laughs> it's an easy way to do that. Definitely not why that was there. What the fuck is that? I don't know anymore. Ignore that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, let's go. Okay, um... Alright, ignore that. I don't know why that's there or what the deal is. Um, okay. Launching the things. Launching the things. Whoa! Computer doing the thing. <clears throat> oh my fucking... Hello? Oh. Oh. I hear things. I hear things in my ears. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Turn on that. Desktop audio, let me make sure. Do that. <laughs> wakey wakey game, exactly. Oh! <sighs> seeing my things on the side there? Okay. I should be able to do this. I like how they make a noise, too. I might need to reset up where it's at. I could show you guys how I do it, which is kind of nice. Get these bad boys on. Okay, so. I want to make sure this is set up for... Si so this is OVR advanced settings. I've barely begun to touch a lot of this, quite honestly. But uh, I have to use offsets when I want to do any sitting se games seated, which because of my lack of space, I have to. So I usually do it by t 30. Apply. Back. Yeah. So if I do this... I don't need to recenter. Trying to remember what the other thing was. Cause it doesn't ooh. I wonder if it loaded correctly. Oh no 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 no. Did it boot boot it up? Weird. Weird. And close that out too. Uh no, it, it stopped launching it. Okay. So I should be able to do this. And then this. There we go. Because now if I do this Oh, do I have to reset it up? Oh, maybe it just has to reload. I will fuck with that in a few minutes. Okay, help wanted. Play. Oh, there you go. It had to load. Alright, if this doesn't work, the only thing I can think to do is recalibrate it. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Alright, 
I'm excited for next FNAF movie that was announced. Oh, hello, brother man. Hello, brother man. Press any button. So we're not going to get to the beginning again. That kind of makes me a little sad. Okay. I don't hear anything. Why is it doing this? Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this. Like, I can hear this. I can hear the, the birds. The noises. Uh, yes, new movie. Yes. Where is... Go into my settings, make sure it didn't. No, that's what I'm checking right now. It should be through the index. Everything is set up through the index. Even on OBS, it's all set up through the index. Hmm, this is a little frustrating. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what else I can do. <laughs> It be like that sometimes. It's valid as hell, Loki human. I went through my volume settings uh, by right clicking. I also went through my actual audio right now. It should just be through index. Maybe you got the secret of you got the secret cursed copy of help one of the no game audio for I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that would increase the spooky. I it would definitely give me more anxiety if I'm supposed to hear things coming for me. <laughs> but, okay, let me see. Maybe, maybe if I just try it again, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't have anything else I could really do. I've even restarted. Do this. I'll go into options again. See if maybe there was a sound setting I missed, but it looked like it was just for subtitles. I'm a little annoyed I can't replay the intro there. It's cutesy. We got the gist of it. They made us sign a fucking contract. Uh, they were very sussy about the fact that no no harm's gonna happen to us. That's silly. Why, why would that be a thing? And then, Febby. My boy, Febby. I keep, like, looking, because I know he's there, and I kind of want to know if there's, like, anyone else lurking in the shadows. Lurking in the darkness. It would be kind of cool if you saw, like, eyes or something. That'd be kind of funny. Although I kind of want to boop him as well. But I can't. Uh. General? Hello? I don't know why. Oh. Yes. Clear all the data. Oh, yeah, here we go. Is he supposed to read this? Pressing the triggers. Flashing lights. <laughs> okay. What? Nah, ain't no goddamn way. Ain't no goddamn way. Well, God, now I'm gonna be really paranoid. I'm gonna turn and there's gonna be a motherfucker like, breathing on my goddamn neck. Okay, so I'm not. These aren't doing anything. Like, I thought it was gonna make noise, you said? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this- did I select credits? I think I did. Quit to title! I don't know why it's doing this. 
Quit to title. I don't know. Yeah, no. Okay, so that did restart it. But I still have the same issue. Why is it not doing it? Video settings. No, this is just the normal bullshit. I don't... I really don't know what to do. I'm I'm kind of lost. Is this like a thing or is I don't know if this is a thing or or my setup. I I don't know what's going on. Is there something in Steam settings that I gotta fuck with? I'm going to figure it out. We are going to play this. It is, this is kind of annoying because... The fuck? The fuck? I'm checking another setting right now. In the hopes that maybe... Maybe. Maybe it's Windows being stupid. Um... Because what kills me is the other stuff is working. Oh, is it because it's not on? Okay, I need to turn it on. Pretty much That's what, what I'm, I'm doing. doing. <laughs> But, but yeah, I hope y'all are all doing good. It's, it's not one of my streams unless something is fucking broken. Um, I'm just testing something, so ignore what you see on screen. I have to go into settings in order to do this. Ooh. Oh, shit. No, no double for you. No, that's just because I turned the headset on. Headset has a built-in mic that I have, like, running right now, and then there's the mic that I use on my desk. You do not need to hear two of me. What the fuck? Huh? Just, no. So that's input. I want to see output. Windows, if you could do the thing, that would be very nice. That would be epic. Yeah, that, that should be... I can hear stuff through my headset. I have no idea. Let me restart Steam too, maybe. It's the only other thing I can think of. Is literally restarting everything. Um,
not today. I'm just really upset because I spent a good like half hour getting everything set up and tested ahead of time. I didn't hop into the game because I don't want the game spoiled for me. That's the biggest thing when it comes to setting up for stream. So I test everything else possible, especially for VR, because I'm like, okay, I want to make sure that stream can hear me. I want to make sure that everyone can hear me. Make sure that OVR and everything's... I'm trying... And I can hear, like, the birds and stuff in this room. So, like, I can hear stuff. It's just specifically the game audio doesn't want to do the thing. Everything on my PC. <laughs> Everything on my PC says it should be going through the headset for audio. Okay. Yeah, look, I'm very short because I'm sitting down. I need to fix this yesterday. Oh, well. Having hands might help. Hands, where are you? Hey, there's my hands. I got them. I knew they were there. Okay, so if I do boop. Boop. There you go. Uh, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Make me tall, boy. Yes, I wish to be tall. I kind of wish taking tea would also make you taller, but that... <laughs> no. Uh, it might make my feet bigger, which is some bullshit. Let me just, like, right there. I do not need that. I do not need that in my life right now. Oh, I have fingers. See, this is why. Okay, so when I was talking about not having fingers in the game, it's because I can normally do this. I can do all the things. I can, I can flip you off when it's working. I can flip you off with both fingers. But I can't. I can't in the game. It automatically has me doing. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, instead of. So I don't know. Okay, so it's not on? Oh, it is. Oh, so it was loading. Multiple people with big feet. My hands might get bigger too. Chat. Which is also kind of epic. Okay, so. I have the thing over my ears. I have the thing over my ears. We're going to try. If this doesn't work, then we might have to swap to something else. I'm going to be sad. I'm gonna cry. Not really, but I'm gonna be a little bummed. Okay. Yeah, you can have what's left of my soul. Now, I already sold part of my soul to the business that I work for because you have to fill out all that goddamn paperwork no matter where you work now. Apple definitely owns a little bit of my soul. Like I said, Google's had my soul since I was like 13 because of email. Facebook probably has my soul because I used to use Facebook. It's a lot, it's a lot of soul taken. Oh. Why is it not doing the thing? Why? Yeah, nothing's making sound. I like that you can do this, though. This is kind of funky. You can do the this. Other hand, do it. Yes. Oh, you have to be... Oh, it's in proximity to this. I'm dumb. You can do this. No, further down, you can do this. But this isn't... I kind of hate that the only option in-game is subtitles why won't you have it's a horror game why would you not have i'm assuming it's horror it's fucking fnaf why would you not have sound <clears throat> don't mind me dude i'm gonna hate it when my voice actually starts cracking and shit clear data i'm not sure what else to do <laughs> hey, they do. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do dating games. People are crazy, dog. I mean, I would play them, so <laughs> I'm not any better than everyone else. But like, Jesus Christ, why? I... <sighs> no, I would like to actually be able to fucking play the game. <laughs> also dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> See, I was very active on the internet around the time that FNAF, the fa- FNAF fandom was like peak fucking dumpster fire. It's still pretty bad, but like peak dumpster fire. It's kind of like Undertale. There's still segments of the Undertale fandom I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot fucking pole, but Jesus fucking Christ, dog. Like, we get it. We, fu- we get it. You should feel some type of shame, just a little bit. I mean, as long as you're happy, I guess, but uh, you have to put it on the internet for everyone to see. I don't know what else. Guys, I don't know what else. <laughs> I'm so long. I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Google, see if maybe this game does have audio issues at points. Um, okay. I'm going to move my mic back. I'm using the VR one. It probably sounds shitty. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Um, the headset keeps fucking bopping down on me. Uh, help wanted. Let me see if people have looked up. I've been playing the new help wanted, but I'm unable to hear audio from my desktop headset, which I use for VR. So same issue. (laughs) Oh God. Nah. (laughs) Yes. It looks like it has been a thing. When in game, click on the Windows sound settings icon. I've already did that. Yeah, it's the index. We, we, I have that. <laughs> FNAF help wanted to, but there's no audio at all challenge. That's a thing that they that people do to themselves. I had to turn off the controller while the game was running. No, that's for something else. That wouldn't work. Okay, let me do this as well. The game is tired of me already. Okay, let me try this. With the game actually open. Sound. Yeah, it should be the index. It's what it's showing right here. Okay. Is there a Steam setting I have to tweak? So far, I haven't had any issues with audio in game. Settings. So I was a girl who beat Elden Ring on two separate computers at the same time and what what the fuck? That is some level of dedication that I will never fucking have. Holy shit. How do you even make the decision to do that? What? Uh okay, music? No, that's <clears throat> that's for something else. We don't want remote play. In game. No, because it looks like Steam just straight up goes off of whatever your system's defaults are, which right now my system's defaults are for the Oculus, for the, for the this, for the headset, for the thing. I don't know. The only other thing I can think of is, I don't know. This is really upsetting me. This is dumb. Guys. Guys, what do guys? 
<laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at with video games. I Part of the thing is I also, well, obviously I play games to have fun and kind of escape a little bit. Uh, okay, we'll try this. Sometimes you have to restart your headset and PC. If that is the case, I'm going to cry. The only other fixes I'm seeing are the things I've already tried. Okay, let me try something else that is suggesting. It's the last thing that I can think of. Uh, okay, so we want that up. I keep forgetting I have an alternate page. Okay, let me try this, see if this works. Oh, 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 what you doing? Brother, what are you doing? Where is, uh, 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 there's, oh, there it is. You gotta kind of feel for it. I found it. Let's go. I'm pressing the triggers. Okay, I'm trying something else. This is the only other thing I can think of that's popping up for, like, troubleshooting. Okay. It's the boy. Oh! Oh! Why are all the FNAF games so fucking janky? Why? Why is my hand all the way over there? It is definitely not over there. Okay, let me turn these off and then turn them back on. Okay, so I think I know what I did. I think I know what I did. What I didn't do. What I need to do. I'm turning these off. I'm turning them back. Oh, God. Turning them back on. I might have to actually restart the game itself now that I know what to do. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's right there. So the fucking problem was FNAF games are jinky as fuck. And I literally had technical issues with every FNAF game that I've ever, like, tried to play. And that's not even just on stream. Just in general, I've had issues with them. I don't know what the fuck kind of curses on the FNAF games, at least for me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But... You have to actually have the window up and tabbed into the actual game. You can't be, like, anywhere else on your screens. You have to be tabbed into that fucking game. Or else you don't hear anything. That's so fucking stupid. So, my issue was, I think I pressed the OBS window. Because I had to tweak settings real quick before I hopped into the game. And then I had the game, uh boot up and I guess it didn't boot up with you automatically focused on it for your PC because of that the game was running but for some reason that stops the audio from happening I don't like the sounds that I am hearing though Jesus fucking Christ okay so I'm going to wipe data we're going to play oh it makes sounds it's glorious alright so we're gonna try to play this oh my god I'm so sorry for that okay I want to hear the man speak to me. Is it Exotic Butters Man? Do we get Exotic Butters? You guys gotta tell me if the actual audio is too loud, because that's the other thing. Last game that I played, we had to tweak it on stream, and I kind of figured out a way to cheese the system, and it worked. This game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. That's a Windows issue. Uh, Windows is poo poo doo doo. Big poo poo doo doo. Okay, I get it. It has jump scare.
Oh my god, dog. Okay. Um. Game. Game what you do. Um. Huh. So when I was talking about it having issues. Oh, that was you, you fucker. Because I know it gets louder. Okay. It's loud for me. I might actually turn it down on my end. Jesus Christ. Uh, except it's normally it transitions off of this. Um. Game? Yo, let's go. Okay, so I do definitely have to restart the game. <laughs> okay, look, this is a thing. It's just a game that died. Okay. Well, let me exit out of the game in VR. That would be kind of nice. Let me make sure the game is actually on the screen or it'll freak out. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. Oh, there you go. All right, we're going to restart it proper. Oh, I can still see it. <laughs> Okay, maybe I gotta restart the bitch. We wiped the data, so it should be good, hopefully. Play. I thought saying I've been playing for like, what, 20 something minutes? I sure as fuck have not been! Thank you very much. I've been trying to get your fucking game to work. I love that I can just pull up chat. I fucking hope not. Yo! Yo! Yeah. Zombie! Sex. Yo. Let's go. <sighs> now that I have it tabs in, the game just is not working. Oh my god, if I have to restart this shit again. Well, we got it. Do we have it? It says continue. So again, I'm going to do this. Clear data. Yes. Press trigger. Press trigger once. Maybe both trigger. Both. Okay. These are static images, which is funky. I guess I understand, but it's funky. Okay, please load. Yes! I think we got it, maybe. <laughs> VR chat. Okay, so new game. Oh god, it's not making sound. What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I know. VR makes it dumber. Okay, I have to manually tab in. I know what it is. VR is just stupid. VR presets, my game, I don't fucking... Yo! Okay. Oh! It's the music from the thing! Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Epic. I don't have a body. And what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? Yay! I trust Freddy Fazbear's with my life. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated with I pl I don't plan to stream VR chat ever. I just don't. Of them were total look at the look on his face, bro. Lunatic, oh, the lunatic! The lunatic himself! Ha, Slander. <laughs> oh. Me when comedy. Into a hilarious VR game. So a funny! Funny! <laughs> They're butt hurt. Look at him. Look at that boy. I would buy all of that. Except, yeah, I'd buy all of it. 
What is... Uh, can I pick that up? Can I, like, I want to touch it. It's not letting me pick it up? Oh! I touched it! Oh, okay. You're, you're kind of in me a little. Your lifetime career, lifetime career choice. Ready for me to quickly as simple as you have some important points that make sense. So patient and your life save. What? Uh, stress and injury is good. Okay. All right. What? What the fuck was that? Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. The funny man. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences. I don't know why it's, it's freaking out. I don't fucking know anymore. Scenarios. More will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces <laughs> and some new ones yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So stay a while yeah, and have yeah. a good time. And I'm remember, a simple, I am a simple guy. What the fuck? You may experience. This is a completely controlled environment. Showtime. And any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for I want a boop Please make prize a counter from the virtual menu. What's the pro I want a plushie! I want a Bonnie plushie. <gasps> Purple fan. Uh, can I get that? Is it 200? Why is it doing this? Guys, why does VR hate me? What the fu- I want that thing. The, the purple thing. I can't move either. Like, I can only just do this. <sighs> Who's on stage? Oh my god. I want to boop the snoot. Holy fuck. Those plushies look so good. Oh, they're so good. Why am I up so high now? I, I didn't stand. Um. Yeah, we'll go back. <laughs> Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> okay, let me fix it. I can fix this. is an easy fix. This is uh, OVR settings. Why is it making me so high? I don't... Caesar simulator. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like a super short individual. Okay, so now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to recalibrate my fucking headset. Oh, fuck it. Night one. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Okay, maybe I do care. Now I'm short. <laughs> okay. Push buttons. <gasps> Stars. See, it's the little things in VR that kind of make me, like, really happy with VR. The technical issues suck. And I will admit, when you're streaming VR, there's a lot more technical issues than when you're not streaming VR. But, like, end of the day, it's still just a really cool option for games in general. And, like, experiences. Because I will say that some of the games... I've played a couple games that probably be more considered walking simulators than games. And it still was really fun. Do we want to go a little taller? I'm going to go one more. I normally do 20 or 30. See, now I'm back to being... Okay. Recenter. Apply. Back. Okay. Start the game! I'll push the buttons. Woo! Oh. Oh my god. Let's see if we make... Whoa. How do I select things? It's the phone guy. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god, okay, yeah, my VR's wigging out. Um, hello? <gasps> can I boop the snoot? I don't think I can. I definitely can't reach it with my current setup. I want to pick that up. Can I turn off the fan? Oh, <gasps> you can turn off the fucking okay. uh, let's see. First, there's an innovation. Innovation. Suck my 
fragile. Innovation. Wait. No, you're all still there. Oh, I saw you. Fu Boy, I saw you move. Oh, he's gonna be in my fucking business. Oh yeah, power's a thing. Holy fuck, it's been a minute. What's that? Oh! <gasps> What's that? Oh. Okay, the game is... I don't know if it's a game, my VR, or whatever. Hopefully it stays with how, uh... Oh, I can't even reach. There you go. How do I turn you off? There you go. Okay, I'm probably gonna die. Hell yeah, I hated the fan in the original. Hi, Chica Chi! Chica is in the fucking kitchen doing what Chico do. Oh, Bonnie's there. Oh, 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. What does that mean? Oh. Oh god, turn that off. Oh, you're in the closet. Never mind. Somebody's still there. Oh! Chica Chi. Oh, yep, and that's getting closed. I hate that. Every part of me hates that. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna run out of power. I, I'm good tonight, but... Oh my fucking god! No! Nah, fam, I good. What is that audio? Oh, he's right there. It's 5 a.m. Oh, hey there, buddy. I can't press this fu this door, this side I can't fucking press. Yeah, I'm having issues. He's right there. I have 19%. I should be good till 6, right? She's in the fucking kitchen. Febby. Febby. Yo! It's the easiest night. <laughs> it's the easiest night. Yeah, first night's good. Oh! 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 <gasps> I get a prize. Woo! Butter. Does that say butter? I get butter for one. What does it say? 
I can't make out the nutrition facts. 850! Jesus Christ! God damn! I'm taking it, but Jesus. I need to recalibrate my fucking headset if I'm going to play anymore because I can't do this side at all. I keep hitting my fucking computer and the, <laughs> the mic. I don't like that I have my back turned to the entire thing, you know? You know. Can I see? Wait, so how many do I have? I found one. Oh. Oh, I wasn't. Okay, well. We have a this. We have a this now. I was trying to see. Oh, it unlocks with each one, I'm thinking? I don't know. I don't understand that fully. I has a ball, though. BB. BB. I kind of want to, like, lob it, but I don't want it. Wait, can I hit it over there? I don't know if that... I don't... Oh, God. Yeah, I need to recalibrate my headset. Huh. Damn it. I tried. Oh, yeah. Disappoint... <laughs> Is that say disappointment? I just say ointment. Lemon. Meat bites. I like the meat bites. Aw, they're the li Okay, those are just as fucking adorable as that that fucker. I like that. Menu. Oh, nice. Oh, that's funky. One of 30. There's 30. I want to touch the fucking glitched out bullshit over there. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, I genuinely do have to uh, recalibrate stuff, which is annoying. Candy. Something. No, oh no, I wasn't. Okay. I was just trying to, like, lean down. Can I, can I, no, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I already heard this. I heard this before. Title. Why does it do this? Yes. 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 Um, okay, I'm gonna have to exit the game to cal recalibrate this. Huh. It's hooked up to like a generator thing? Can I mess with it? See, I like to poke things in VR, dog. See, I, I can't reach any further than that. And that's why I couldn't really press the buttons. Very nice. I don't like that, though. That it puts you on, like, opposite ends of the room. With your back facing. I really don't like that. Especially when you got that hallway. And then you've got... Foxy. I don't like that. Foxy's fast. I don't think it'll break. Because I think that... I think we found what the issue was. Ew. Look at all the fucking crusty musty, brother. We need a fucking filter. We need... I need a mask. This is bullshit. Alrighty. Wrong button. Quit your title. Yes. Bag. I'm trying to find. It's been a while. I know this isn't just how I get into OVR. Okay. It should save that I beat the first one. 15 achievements though, let's go. Ooh. So we're looking for tokens and I assume whatever those fucking purple things are. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> Freddy is in this game. There would never be anything. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and do the VR thing. I'm gonna get rid of the screen so you guys don't see it. Because it's just boring. Where the fuck is the screen? Oop. I don't know why you've got the fucking stream thing there. Yeah, I have no idea. But I fixed it. 
All right. Uh. Okay. Room set up. What? I want to poke the Freddy. I'm calibrating it. Which is very boring. Very boring. I just have to put stuff down and up and down and all the things. There's a wing for the background. <laughs> yes, I mean, you're not wrong. Calibrating floor. Floor is calibrating. Floor has been calibrated. If this doesn't work, then I don't know. We got it? I think we might have done did do got it. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So. Oh, yeah. 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 I think we got it. I'm, like, slightly turned, which is kind of annoying. Um, let me try something real quick. Uh, settings... I don't know why it's having me face that fucking direction. That might actually be good, though, for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay. Alrighty, let me put, the con put it back up. Put it back up. VR view. What the fuck? Oh, no, I know why. There you go, that's better. I was about to say, if fucking OBS did some bull- Nah, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. The answer was I'm stupid. It tend to be like that. Launch. Okay. We're gonna launch the game. And then when the game boots up... <laughs> Yummy! Flavored toilet paper! I had my headset off so I could see it. <laughs> okay. See, now it has me in the table. I. Why is it doing the weird calibration? What is this? What is going on? Like, this isn't... I can't... That's too close to everything. I don't know why I'd be doing this. Oh, I can ball up. I can. Yeah, have the power of fist. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I'm having many technical difficulties. <laughs> Guys, I might just, like, call it a day for this. I... VR has given me issues. It annoys me because I literally did all of the things ahead of time. And now the calibration's acting stupid. I just recalibrated it. The problem is my desk is right here. Right here. And it wants me to lean. I'll literally be touching... My fucking monitors. Do you guys want to do true crime? We could watch true crime. Well, actually, I was thinking true crime or... We have multiple options. Oh, okay. 420! Let's go! Installed, please, and thank you. We have... I don't want to restart Baldur's Gate. Uh, technically, we've called to the lamb. We have Fallout Four. I don't want to do Tomb Raider yet. 
Team Fortress, we could start, but I kind of don't want to start anything. Or like I said, there's also True Crime. Why doesn't let me look at chat when I have that up? VR True Crime. <laughs> Night one stream. Yeah. I'm... The only thing I can think to do... It's like, this shouldn't be happening! The only thing I can think to do is, like, re start to stream next time. Recalibrate before stream. Now that we know that this is a thing, at least the whole, it needs to be tabbed in and everything. Do that ahead of time. Start stream. Maybe recalibrate on stream? It's the only thing I can think of. That won't work because I'm not on screen. <laughs> I mean, we beat, we finished night one, but night one is like the easiest. I think you could genuinely stop making sounds, goddammit! I think you, you you could genuinely just get through night one with uh everything. This looks like you can poke me poke me in the fucking titty, dog. Um, there's something uncomfy when you're in VR about being like in something you shouldn't be in. You know, it's just weird. Give it a go and still have issues because, yeah, I mean, that's basically how it's going to go. Um, yeah. Next time I attempt to stream this, I'm going to do the um, same thing that I did beforehand. Now that we know the issue with the game and how to fix it and how to actually just avoid it with the whole it being, like, the clicked on while you're in VR and all that. I'll go ahead and do that. And then the only thing, this, this doing this is a calibration thing. So I might need to tweak where I have the sensors for my VR, but it's weird because... 95% of the time I don't have any issues and the other 5% of the time I have to recalibrate it like 8 times in a row just to be able to play and I don't know if that's just a VR thing if it's my lack of space or if it's just how it is like I, I don't know <laughs> I didn't mean it like that <laughs> god damn it I didn't mean it like that <laughs> uh Alrighty, I'm exiting. We will definitely try this again. It looks like my questions were answered, though. It looks like it's, at least up until now, it looks like it's mostly you replaying the previous games. But I don't know how that gives you more lore. I don't know if there's going to be, like, extra things that they add in, like, mini games or something. but Or if they're going to tweak it. So, like, you get to a certain night and then, like, maybe events happen and stuff. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how it goes because there's a ton of really positive... Reviews on this game. Worst case scenario. I mean, nah, I'm not even saying that. I'm definitely playing this in VR. Next time I'm going to do things even more ahead of time. And we're going to recalibrate it probably on stream. Possibly, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I tried to make sure that everything was... I tried to make sure that everything was, like, re like calibrated and done and... Yeah, no, I, I want to find out by myself. I want to know. But I want to know for me learning. You know? I even had my fucking controllers charged. Yeah, no. Definitely. Because, like, last time I started playing, and when I started playing with my controllers, they were only 60% of the way, like, charged. I Oh, my God. Yes. I mean, it looks like it's going to be fun. I might struggle a lot at certain points. The second game had me sweating with the keyboard. I don't know how it's going to have me feeling with a VR headset. Because fucking Puppet can suck my cock and balls, dog. Puppet is the worst. Because you can't... There's no room to fuck up when you're dealing with Puppet. Marionette, whatever you want to call it. I think technically his, the name is Puppet. Like, can canonically. Canonically. Glasses emoji. Yeah, you can't, like, if you fuck up at all with that, that motherfucker on your ass, you don't even get a chance to breathe. It over. But that's part of why I liked playing the second game. Because the first game kind of felt easy. Like, minus... The first game had me, like, sweating a little bit at the end. Because of Golden Freddy. But overall, it's pretty decent. Like, it's pretty easy to beat. The second game, I feel like they really ramped up the difficulty, and I've talked about that before. The second game really feels like they were like, oh, well, you said it was easy. Sweat, bitch. 
absolutely sweat. Because you have so many mechanics going on between the the fucking balloon boy and puppet and uh, flashlight and I gotta throw the mask on and oh, I can't throw the mask on for this. It's just like, God, I can't think. But like in the best way possible because it's challenging. Um, okay. Give me one second. I'm getting my form back up on screen. And I'm sorry for those of you that were looking forward to VR. I was also looking forward to VR. We will still play VR. It just... I feel like I'm going to have some days where I do plan VR streams and shit just doesn't work out. And it is what it is. But that's why we have other options. Yeah, that's fair too. I, I have a love-hate thing going on with Mark though for a lot of games. But specifically for FNAF because he, he was like dubbed the king of FNAF. But motherfucker does not know any of the lore. And I, it, in one way, it kind of adds to it when he's playing the video games. When you just kind of laugh at some of the shit that he says out of pocket. But another way, I'm like, there's like a huge... There's like a subsection of community crossover between FNAF and Mark that treat that man like a god when it comes to that game. And I'm like, that boy don't know nothing. Not, not in that way. Nah. He's just one of those things. Yes. Okay, let me switch over my audio again. So fun. So we can get rid of this. He was good at playing the games, but he kind of gave up. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think... I think the lore is good. It's pretty, like, pretty good. But it gets messy at points, and I think that's because Scott didn't anticipate fully continuing the project. If that makes sense. And I think that was a thing. Just in general. Alright, let me switch the audio. To my main headset. There you go. Yeah. And I like, I do like, like, a lot of that's come into it. Like, a, a big chunk of a lot of the lore. But it's just one of those things where it's just like, yeah, I think there were a couple times where he wasn't so sure things were going to continue. Or he didn't have, like, s full story parts completely fleshed out. And because of that. Because of that, it ended up the way that it did. You know? Uh, do you guys see nothing? Yeah, you guys see nothing? There you go. There you go, I'm bouncing now. <laughs> Yo! Alright. Let me... Let me do this. Boop. We don't need steam up. What do we got for true crime? What do we got? Uh, okay. Ooh, lord. I have, like, a few different videos, and we can see which one is better. I have, like, some food, too. I can snack on something while we're... Not for right this second. Let me do this, and it should. I feel like I have gotten better at, like, transitioning faster between, uh... When things do happen. And I feel like I have gotten a little better with when things do fuck up on stream. It still kind of is what it is, but... I don't know. Personal growth. <laughs> My brain right now. <laughs> I'm so glad to finally be on TV, but God. <laughs> I'm only on day four, but I would I, I can't I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of options. We have... Zachary Hawley, wife discovers her husband's horrifying secret. Walter Harold Mitchell, hunter discovers 29 human body parts in the desert. Rita, I can't, I can't pronounce her last name. Pangalangan, mom discovers her disgusting secret was filmed. 
Naomi Jones, woman discovers her boyfriend's horrifying secret. Kathy Coy, killer realizes she's been caught after cutting baby out of victim's stomach. Because, you know, it'd be like that. Alrighty, sounds good, Nub. Have a good evening. Thank you! Or a good day, I guess I should say. Time zones. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited for things to come. Uh, boyfriend realizes he's the murderer suspect. David Anthony, killer, s realizes victim solves her own murder. Cops entitled to Hunter meets Karma after biting an officer. Cops left stunned after horrifying discovery. And Amanda Lewis, seven-year-old kid, kid, witnessed against his mother. Ooh, we have options. Any of those tickle anyone's fancy? Any of them sound intriguing? I don't really want to watch the one with the... I'm getting tired of the, which is probably horrible to say. I don't like, well, no, I don't think it's horrible to say. I don't enjoy the ones where babies are cut out of the womb. They're like, that's such a violent fucking attack. And like, yes, every one of them is violent. But like, that just reads as so fucking just violent and personal to me. It's not even funny. Especially in a lot of those cases, the, the it's usually a woman. The woman who does it to the pregnant woman is usually someone who is either a friend or or who becomes a friend. So it's someone who literally, it's it's like a genuine snake. It's someone who came into your life, uh, you think they, they're they supportive and they, they enjoy your presence and all that. And then it turns into that that type of attack. And it's just, it's so traumatizing it, if you survive. Like, how do you even cope with that? How is that even a thing? <laughs> yeah, nah. Well, I doubt it's going to show pictures, but yeah. <laughs> Baby out of the... I, the problem is it isn't coming out of the vagine. That's the whole problem. No, that shit was disgusting, too. That one was... That doesn't happen as often. Again, horrible sentence. But, like, there are, unfortunately, there is a backlog of cases where that happens. I think there's an actual term for the type of crime where a woman steals another woman's baby forcefully by cutting it out of her. It's, it's fucking wild, but it's actually a thing. Whereas the whole microwaving someone is not as usually seen. That's a rarer thing. Let me change it to just chatting. Blah. Hmm. How about Rita? Mom discovers her disgusting secret was filmed. Why is it not pausing? Hello. Thank you, fucker. Alright. Turning babies into ghouls. No! Don't do that. Uh we'll do yeah, fuck it. We'll do full screen. We'll do full screen. Where am I at? I'm right there. <laughs> if I get in the way I'll I'll scrunch myself down or I'll disappear into the void, but I kinda like being on the screen, you know? I'm also going to do this and this. Yes. Sure. I love when things update. Okay, so if I do... I can't remember, did window capture work or did we have to do full screen up on this bitch? What the fuck? Why is Twitch doing this? Oh, I know why Twitch is doing it. Ignore what you see on the screen, guys. What you mean it can't- Boy. What the fuck is this? I have no idea. Why is it doing that?
Why? Huh? Okay. Hopefully this works. Hit hit hits chat. Let's go. <coughs> so if I do Where did it go? There you go. That's where it went. Why doesn't a window fucking capture work for when you're watching some shit? I don't understand that. Why is it tiny? Hold up. Wait a minute. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, so if I'm in the way, y'all gotta tell me. So this is Rita Pang Pangalagan? <laughs> 911, what's the address of your emergency? You tell me if you can actually... 911. Hello, 911. Poor <laughs> Adam, his male shorts are falling down. His fucking... Uh, what's going on? Ass and balls are just hanging out, apparently. What is your name? My name is Larry King. Hello? Sir, Sir, what is going on there? I can't understand what you're saying. Look, my girlfriend, she put her daughter in the car, man. She went to get in. The damn door was locked and locked out. We okay, sir, is she bus. stuck in the vehicle still? We, what is up, Sammy? We got out. She's gone, man. You believe that she's beyond help? I know, I know, man. She's not breathing, man. Okay, but... Nah. So, did they catch the crime on that same camera they're showing? Did, did they lock her in the fucking... Did they lock a child in the car? You're under arrest for the charge of homicide. Oh my God, God damn. No. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm in a way. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not a bad Wake up. Oh no. It's a nightmare. We will never know exactly when the nightmare began for 13 year old Christina Pangalangan, but it came to an agonizing conclusion on August 5th, 2019, when she was that. tossed into a car that, nah. by her mother's boyfriend, Larry Other Eugene King, have kids and unable that to move shit. or even uh. scream for help. How her uh. mother went from being a two time award winning yeah, right teacher. There to spending quality time with her lover while Christina succumbed to extreme heat stroke oh my remains God. to be seen. That Hauntingly, is so police fucked. would have to uncover if this was an accidental tragedy or intentional and malicious. In a series of exclusive interviews, Two Evil time obtained away. new information about this shocking what case, did you try? including a never-before-heard yeah. conversation with the perp. I have to do that so I can pause Christina it. was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and epilepsy at an early Aww. age. This resulted in developmental delays, limited mobility, Skills and other good. challenges. She didn't speak, however, one oh of her mother's God. former roommates said I she communicated effectively with expressions comfort, and but gestures. I genuinely do I get upset when people do that or say things along those lines. Because there are people that will say some really outlandish shit that they're like, well, it's God's will. Now, fuck you. Christina could sometimes <laughs> stand or walk a little bit. Respectfully, fuck but you. But mainly got around by crawling, scooting across the floor, Skittles or be using good. a Shush. wheelchair. Still, she relied heavily on her single mother and main caregiver, Rita, to meet her needs. Look at my little sister standing up on her own. I'm so proud of you. According to Christina's older sisters, she was always cared for. But somewhere along Aww. the line, something went wrong. When the police arrived at Larry King's house drink. in Colleton County, South Carolina on August 5th, 2019, the Volkswagen Jetta where Christina perished was parked in the front yard. It belonged to Christina's mother, be Rita Pangalangan, who had been like in an on and off sad, relationship with Christ Larry for the sad. past four years. I don't the pair had only recently reconciled after some time I understand apart. If you feel overwhelmed, Tragically, but Larry's so belief that Christina was beyond help child, turned out to be know? true. There was nothing emergency medical personnel could do for Christina by the time they arrived. 
How long it took for her to succumb to the rising temperatures inside the car was yet to be determined. The security camera mounted on Larry's front porch proved to be instrumental in uncovering answers. It also revealed shocking and unthinkable twists in this chilling case. Police she really brought Rita and Larry to the police the station car. to try and determine how something so horrible could she have happened. She was the one being arrested, so I'm assuming she's Christina. the one that actually did the murder. I don't know, though, because he could have helped. It is Bay, you know? <laughs> I would not help Bay murder their child. I have lines. While Larry settled in quietly, Rita had a far different response. <laughs> Oh my god, fucking flashbang, what the fuck? Uh, if at any point you need anything, you just let me know. You can say it we're listening, okay? So if you need a restroom, you need something to drink, whatever. I don't have any of those. So at I'm this point, does she know, know that her child? Yeah, at this point she the would know The police would probably said, soon regret listening because Rita was about to launch into one of the most taxing emotional outbursts ever seen. Oh my god, I hate you, I hate you. What the fuck? Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. God hates me. God. Oh my God. What? No. What if you came to a mutual? Nah. What if you came to a mutual agreement that maybe having kids wasn't a good idea? We just needed a trial run to figure out. Bitch, what? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. There's no fucking trial run. Oh, my God. I feel like a lot of people don't put... I don't know. A lot of my peers... Or people around my age-ish that I've interacted with that have decided to have kids or whatever. Or have had kids, because sometimes it wasn't a decision, which, you know, things happen. It is what it is. You gotta make your choices. But, or like, I'm not gonna shame someone one way or the other. But, I feel like a lot of people don't actually put into thought not only how expensive having a child is, but also how taxing it is, and the fact that you are responsible for keeping, or you're supposed to be, I'm s supposed to be, because there's a lot of motherfuckers that aren't, you are supposed to be responsible for making sure that they are healthy and as happy as you can make them be, and, like, you are raising a whole person. Some people treat it like a pet situation, and that fucking kills me, or they just don't think about it at all, and I'm like, how the fuck? Is that, huh? Huh? And that's how, like, some bullshit be Larry happening. Larry also appeared to be cold. So I've mentioned before. But he before. found a much quieter way of dealing with the discomfort. As the interrogation I've rooms were separated only right. by a thin wall, uh, <laughs> Larry was privy to all <laughs> of Rita's what the theatrics. Fuck? No. That's why there, for a lot of true crime cases I've mentioned, I've been like, I, as, as horrible as it sounds, I feel like there should be a test for if you want to be a parent or, like, something. There should be something there. Because some people should never have kids. And it's not that they're horrible people. It's just that they, their environment and themselves is just not good for raising a child. I'm also one of those motherfuckers, because go figure, I do not want kids. That does not hinge... I don't think your happiness should be hinged on having a child or even having, like, a steady partner. Obviously, if you want those things, go for them. But I don't think all of your happiness should be all this drama attached occurred to before the police things. even tried to talk with Rita. that's not healthy. She, however, had been pretty intent on trying to talk to them. Hello? She paused her fucking breakdown. Okay. I want to hold my baby. I want to hold my baby. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to sit down and talk about it in just a few minutes, okay? Somebody, come talk to me. Somebody, come talk to me. Please come talk to me. I want my baby girl. So is she pretending? I want my baby girl. Yet when the... Rita was wailing and waiting for the investigators to come talk to her. I'm confused the... because... I figure at this point she knows she's dead. I, I'm assuming she's... I have not seen anything that you posted recently. Zombie. I, I'm assuming she's doing this just to feign things. Because at this point, I mean, the... 
boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to consider her partner there, on the call was like, yeah, she's dead. Like, she, she's dead. So, what? Huh? What do you mean? Being clear that she was aware of the police observing her. No, no, Christina, no. <laughs> No, baby. She found the Frida's camera. awareness of the camera <laughs> raises the question of how authentic her distress was. Police likely hope that understanding Acting what had taken 100. place earlier that afternoon <laughs> could provide some insight. Just over five hours All after right. she arrived at the police station, police came in to talk to Rita and made her aware of her Miranda rights. Once that was taken care of, the conversation about how Christina met such a horrific fate finally began. Are you under the influence of any alcohol or narcotics today? No, no. 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 Are you being arrested? I haven't said anything about you being arrested. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no secret as to why we're here. I know. But you understand why we're here? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Why don't you explain to me the details leading up to why we're here today? Rita didn't know it. But the police hadn't just been waiting out her emotional frenzy for the past five hours. They'd been talking to Larry and reviewing the security footage recorded at his house. Oh, this means yeah, they know Rita selfies. already lied just moments I into the interview. Awesome. Even faced with Rita's initial resistance, the interrogators couldn't have anticipated the heartbreaking revelations to come. Back up. Back on up. We'll start from you picked her up from the babysitter. Maybe uh, well, we um, were now to we'll pick her up from oh, the babysitter. I didn't decide, oh, did I? Uh, last night. Okay. Oh uh, no, the babysitter didn't have. Oh, the babysitter had her. Was today Monday? You played night one. Oh, Today's Monday. Yes. Now. Now. Right, you know, and I was having me. some technical oh. issues that just continued to happen. I had a babysitter tonight. Yeah, Saturday night. We will be playing VR Sunday. FNAF and Freddy's for real, for real. Went to Larry's last night. Then I packed us a little overnight bag and stuff like that. Nice. And um, we were coming home today. <laughs> and I was going to, uh, I, 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 I cranked up the car. Mm -hmm. I called the air conditioner. Uh, and I, I, I opened the back door. But there's a man. The surveillance footage starts at 10.59 a.m. So while there doesn't appear to be any possible way for Rita to start the car when they put Christina in, it's unknown if she started the car before. <laughs> what that, is that blur job? I mean, I understand. Able to confirm this. But like, what the fuck? She closed the door. Or which side do you put her in? Driver's side back. Driver's side back. Okay. Did you buckle her in? He did buckle her in. This comment about the seatbelt is relevant no. because it could suggest whether Rita was I indeed got... intending to leave Larry's house when Christina I got was the put valve in the vehicle. Index. Securing her with the seatbelt would have been a clear indication yes. that Rita was departing Mostly imminently. thanks to Hypnotic. However, this would come back to haunt Rita and Larry <clears throat> sooner I want to play some Lethal Company. Uh, what's her medical diagnosis? I don't know if I can yet, though, because the, the mod, the I guess, needed an update. So people were waiting. So when, when was the last seizure? Over five years ago. She has had so good. Aww. She has had a seizure in over five years. The awe is not for her, obviously. It's for the fucking child. That's it. Yes, sir. That's all she's been doing. What happened was she lost <laughs> the oxygen to her brain before she was born. So her brain don't communicate well with her body. Once again, Rita left something out. Specifically, Christina's cerebral palsy diagnosis. Yeah, uh, yeah. For now, That's police allow her to continue her version of the story. Okay, so you packed everything up. I mean, I, put, I plugged my cell phone up in the charger, you know, right? right up the car with my cell phone. And so, the charger and everything. And, 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 and the Considering the context of this video, I'm assuming she did it on purpose, Rita but how would fucked would it be if you forgot to throw on, like, AC or something and put a running. child in the car? She said it was dead that morning, but charged when she and Larry opened the car, proving that she had turned it on. This debate will be significant later. Of course, they smoked. Someone there smoked. Oh, yeah, she asked for a cigarette. She smokes, of course. While a lot of what Rita said is true, it left out huge chunks of what was captured by the CCTV. Oh, I, mm, Why she thought she could lie when I love that they had, he's blurred simply because his balls is and ass are out. <laughs> Larry got 
little wedgy things, and it blows air, and you're trying to get it open. Mm-hmm. What's open? That's a bear set. A key to my house, and the air conditioner was on the air conditioner was on the side of the thing, and, the, and she was asleep, and Larry went to go get the keys, and he brought her back. And when he went to unlock the door, and the tag on, Mom was dead. Because I'm sure there actually have been instances where the key fob Larry retrieved from her house had a dead battery. By the time he got into the like, car with a manual on. they're still definitely responsible for that child's death. However, That's 100 percent them because you shouldn't story. leave a kid in the car the for an extended period of time. Really you really shouldn't leave a kid in the car at all. More shocking. But like, I was that yeah. window out, and my knew she was in her throat, and I, I don't know why, I don't know why, but that kid is my own. And. Nice. Yeah, my one manager at work was excited because of the new yeah, COD zombies. It's our new COD. He was very happy. Police found more vomit in the backseat of the car. My one manager plays Minecraft. Which is a sign of heat COD. Stroke. The condition of Christina's body I also indicated she suffered from severe play. heat trauma. But I just remember thinking but if what it was Rita funny, said just the was accurate, Christina's like excruciating fate shouldn't have been possible. <laughs> No, so no what? Such a serious case of heat stroke could have occurred under the circumstances Rita laid out. Additionally, what if the Rita's fuck? theory about the seizure if was not, true, take that back police right had now. to question why she told them that Christina hadn't had a seizure in five years. What the fuck? That is a, a massive L opinion right there. The front part of home school, but the back part one. The back part one. But Christina wasn't sleeping, and Rita's story just didn't add up. Okay, so let's back it up. Back it up. Here. I want to play more Warframe, but that's How'd definitely not night? really a game for stream. Yeah, How'd you sleep? Fine. Did you sleep fine? You went to bed at 11. Did you go to sleep? Yes, sir. You did. Okay. Yeah, but as I don't like the whole commentary of it's, this it's answer was exactly already the same known. as the last game in the series. So it's the automatically officer bad. allowed Rita to continue to lay like, the have your opinions, a fabricated but I just feel like story that, is a bad that would later opinion. be dismantled. Like How about there? Yeah, other I'm sure he did, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So you got up this morning, she was fine, got her up. Got her dressed. What time were you what time were y'all? Change your diaper. Please tell me she wasn't dead when they put her in the car. This line of questioning ties back to something Rita conveniently forgot to mention. Also, Larry, why, however, had no such Why is qual- it in all the true crime cases, the cars and the houses, the, the, they just look shitted? Like, just messy as fuck. I've said it before and I'll say it again. No matter what your situation, low income or a rich motherfucker, you can clean up your space. I've, I've lived in a ghetto house my entire life. The house is falling apart. The rooms don't look amazing, but you can clean you can pick things up. Don't leave poo poo doo doo everywhere. Holmes. Are you under the influence of any alcohol or drugs at this time? Uh, my house, I used sometime yesterday. What okay. was it? Um, meth. Okay. Do you feel like you're under the influence right at this moment? Um, just for a while. I'm tired. I'm out of bed. I was like four to eight hours. Jesus Before Christ. the interrogations began, gamer. both Larry and Rita consented to a blood test. The results would reveal exactly oh, what God. was in their system. Are they on fucking drugs, Doc? Bruh. Okay, breathe 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 Listen to me. This conversation is going to go. Then you're going to have to tell me the truth. I've already talked to Larry. I already know the details. I already, listen to me. I already know details. This and is such a small interrogation room. I know that's intentional, but God damn it. How long have you been in that house? Uh, minutes, I don't know, sir. I don't know. I, I poured some goulet, some goulet. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. When was the last time I you finished my brunch? <laughs> uh, no, right. I had leftover. Yeah. I, when I make no, the, uh, the vegan scrambled eggs, sometimes I'll add some rice into it. hyperventilating and whispering to talking easily in an instant. This makes it clear it that her hyperventilation is likely oh, is fake, it has, like, or at the least, least exaggerated. Kind of thing. I, I really think that Adderall yesterday. No. When was the last time you used methamphetamine? No, I don't use but methamphetamine. I had some from brunch. I never okay, used no, methamphetamine. Note that we just threw labs, and when those labs are tested, methamphetamine is going to come back in your system. They shouldn't. Well, I know it shouldn't. Is As she really on meth? Norm, oh my Larry God. Larry said otherwise. 
Did oh, Rita use with you yesterday? She does a little. She didn't put a little bit in her drink. Yeah, wings are awesome, though. It's going to come up in my blood work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took blood work. I told him, um, no, I don't know. She didn't use today. She used yesterday? Yeah, so. How much did I do? About like a lot or something. A lot? She, yeah. Snorted or she put, she it, put it in a drink. Where was Christina when you guys were indulging? She was in the sleep on the couch. When asked, Larry swore that Christina that had never been exposed to the I drug. Do not understand Yet in an exclusive interview, in Rita's daughter said that their children. mother was extremely anti-drug. Like, she she hates drugs. I... What the fuck? Huh? No, that's funky. But I don't get that line of I don't know. I don't get a lot of it because the thing is, if I go through the trouble of having a child. If I feel mentally up to having a child, if I feel financially stable enough to have a child, and then actually physically go through with having a kid, either my partner or me, whatever, like, I just, why would you do that? I know almost every person that I have met that has either had issues with drugs in the past or is struggling with some form of drug addiction knows how bad that struggle can be and what drugs can do to you and just wouldn't do it in front of certain people usually children are top of that list because what the fuck <laughs> yesterday was spicy flavor today was barbecue spicy isn't a flavor what flavor of spicy can't you know stress enough how much she ate from me she actually something that no one knows is she called dss on me many 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 years ago for smoking weed just for smoking pot what? a long time ago that's how much my Rita's Facebook post two years before the incident. Let me throw something out there for anyone. I'm about as anti-drug as anyone you meet. Drugs have destroyed my family and almost costed me everything I worked for my whole life for. So if you are selling to anyone I am close to and I find out about it, I will narc on you. I won't do it anonymously because I take pride in cleaning trash off the streets. You can be someone on my friends list, a mere acquaintance, or even blood, and I won't care. This is your only warning there won't be another feel free to share because i want the word to be spread and have a hopefully have a wonderful hopefully sober week what what the hell what kind of bullshit mom hated drugs so you didn't uh, use last yeah night. she okay wait no hold up so she she didn't do she, according to her kids she didn't do drugs. I think it's because she wanted that dick. And that dick did drugs, dog. <laughs> you fall in with the wrong people. That's it happens. No answer is a yes answer. And you put it in your coffee Bro, last Bro, I'm just night. saying. And the relationship was, what, two years on and off? Yeah, so I'm willing to bet he introduced drugs at some point, not to paint him as, like, a horrible person. It was probably just him doing drugs, and she was like, hey. Oh, God. I hate that attitude. Not only did Rita hold I like the attitude of, and this isn't specifically drugs, because I feel like... It's hard but when you're dealing with addiction and when you're dealing with drugs, the person who is addicted needs to want to get better for anything to happen. And that's the problem. Addiction is kind of a massive demon and it takes a while for people to hit a place where they go, fuck, I need to change. This needs to stop. But like just in general, I hate the attitude of I can fix him. I can fix her. Nah, I want to find someone I can be mentally ill with. I want to find someone I can play video games with. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? My girlfriend beautiful i adore her but she has her own faults just like everyone else <laughs> like what the fuck there's degree but she worked as a teacher in the Colton <laughs> no. county school district for I, I can comfort years. him i can try to make During his days time, better but i sure as fuck am not qualified to fix him twice. what the fuck she worked her face off to provide for our family she still went above and beyond for for all of us all three of us that's why i was so shocked I'm willing you know, to bet that was the, the situation. Is she didn't touch day. drugs until around the time that she ran in, into her I remember, her like, we'd there. go to Shoney's on her birthday every year, and she'd be sung. Like, they would sing to her, and she'd clap her hands and Aww. get the little fudge cakes. 
Happy birthday to Aww. you. Happy birthday, Christina. And she probably Happy did love her daughter a lot. Because again, I mean... Christina's other sister, Elizabeth, also shared some of her memories. One of my favorite videos but I also is can see, we and this went to a justify, birthday party. This does not justify murder in any way, shape, or form, or violence, or abuse, or anything negative. But I can also see that from her perspective, it probably was draining to have a child that was so high maintenance. It's one of those things where when people decide to have children, I don't think a lot of people think about all the variables when it comes to, like, your child might not be healthy or might have things going on. A lot of people just assume that their default when they have a child is just going to be an average child with, like, little to no health issues. And that's not always a thing. <laughs> More people need to take that into consideration when they have a child. I mean, even just, like, basic neurodivergent stuff, right? I feel like a lot of people don't anticipate having kids or th really think about having kids that have that going on. And there was a horse, and so she got to ride a horse for the first time. Well, so she's, I'm just she's, holding she's her smoking and she's cigarettes. That I don't time. think her is a new thing. Contagious. I feel like the cigarettes, the cigarettes are probably something that she's done since she was way younger. But the drugs, I'm willing to put money on the table that she didn't start doing drugs until right before or around she ended up with her partner there so about two years two she was years so since we loved by like mm. everyone meanwhile police and a bunch of factors to get could have played into that just the stressfulness of her day-to-day -day life dealing with a child that is that high maintenance um the announcer mentioned that her relationship was on and off so it probably wasn't in the best place all the time and that probably didn't help not a huge excuse you still should know not to do drugs but at the same time i can see how a person could get to a point where this was shocking it was only the first secret police would uncover your daughter is so dependent on you. Get her out of my territory. You're about to see the ugly side of me. Oh! She keeps, like, faking starting a panic attack or getting upset. A lot of people who fake that kind of thing are, like, really calm or can s shut it off like a switch because it's just a bad fucking act. I would love to know if, if people who fake, like, having panic attacks and stuff, if they've ever actually experienced a panic attack or that level of anxiety for real. Because what the fuck? I can't believe they have a fucking camera just right there. There's no way they didn't realize that there wasn't a camera right there. Like, I would have assumed if they thought there was a camera there, they would have, like, pretended that it was not working, took it, took it down, like, before something occurred in front of the camera, or, like, wiped the footage. The fact that they didn't do anything is just kind of killed me, but that might be the meth. I feel like the meth might play a role in, in that. Had a little disagreement over you having an affair. Correct. Okay, yeah, we had an argument. I heard that she was messing with my and I hope I hope work is good. This was yesterday or is it was today? This morning. Today, yes. Larry again had a different version of how the discussion about Rita's alleged cheating went. What was the conversation Vance in reference to your to affair or just spill. side piece, whatever? The non affair that never happened. Well, I'm just saying that's what you're getting at. Well, what was the question? I'm sorry. I don't understand. We were not, we were not arguing. We were like, we're going to take a break. I'll call you later. Cheating is another thing I really don't get. Were you having a conversation or was this like, he said something, you said something, and it was over? You're adults. You're a whole child. You no, had a whole trial. Come on now. Yeah, that was a little bit of crying, mean, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a big, long, drawn-out thing. And where was Christina when all this was happening? In the car. In the car. I went back in the car. So I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about much of nothing else. Rita stayed in there crying and talking and crying and no begging. I mean, not doing her wrong, just trying to make up or whatever. Despite Rita's attempts to explain, it was evident that Larry Especially remained when motherfuckers indifferent. Cheat more than once, what began I don't get as a seemingly shit. final exchange End the motherfucking into a heated debate, escalating along or with the rising out. temperature like, on, on that now. horrific summer day. That's such a pussy thing to do. And she 
just with me. That's never going to be something so that... So then she came back in the house. Really How many times did she come back in the house? I feel like it's very uh, selfish and just like big coward yeah. move to cheat In conversation with like, Iru, Rita touched on this subject. What we were arguing about that day was me trying to convince him that I hadn't cheated on him. And... How that long did they argue daughter. for on the camera? The, the CCTV day. would show exactly how many times Rita and Larry went in and out of the house. And the footage wouldn't make either of them look good. But the story still got worse. How long were you in the house? <laughs> no more than two or three minutes. I don't know. How long would you estimate when she was in that car? 43. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the According fuck? According to the CCTV, both answers were wrong. What? Following their argument, Rita and Larry stepped inside and didn't emerge for two hours. By this time, Christina had already what been the inside fuck? the car for two and a half hours. What the, the fuck? As the detective continues to backtrack how the events unfolded that morning, he asks like, more I just pressing feel so questions. Bad for that child. He asked you to leave. That Correct. is not, like, there's no, I don't think there's, a, like, a today. best yeah, way to really I die, know. if you Let think about it, because it's still death. That but that's horrible. She literally home. cooked. I don't know. You turn she fucking you cooked. So she was, oh. You saw her put the air conditioner on? You didn't. So you're assuming, you're assuming everything after you turned around to walk away. Or do you know for a fact that she did? I okay, well, I'm, I'm just saying, now what I'm asking is, did you physically see her start the car and turn the air conditioner on? Uh, I just thought the car okay. put her down. Oh, right. up on the porch. I thought said. they added again. Blur added just Larry Short's our phone. Yeah. And I, I believe she did. She loves her daughter. He did. Man, man he's fucking... Oh, I, I'm not saying she don't. Man, man, he's... Uh, However, Larry man, he's didn't know about a curious detail Honestly, that I his CCTV that. had caught. <laughs> Rita had stepped out of the house and settled into the driver's seat of her car. She retrieved an item, likely the keys, from the porch, unlocked both the driver's side and Christina's side doors, glanced back at Christina, double-checked through the window, and then proceeded to walk off. What the fuck? Unsettlingly, it was at this precise moment that she inadvertently left the keys in the car. As awful as everything was so far, the police knew Rita and Larry were holding back parts of the story that proved just how heinous Christina's demise really was. Uh -oh. Is Christina verbal? Yeah. She's not verbal. How does she Aww. communicate? Oh, just like her with a cup. Just with her cup. What do you call it? Oh, she would bring a cup to you for drinks. Oh she my gets around God. fast, like on her knees. Um, she loves cartoons. She's real mm -hmm. easy. Like, is she, uh, she, does, she doesn't talk to you or she no, doesn't make noises. She's good, yeah, yeah. She's been coherent. And she knows what's going on, but she can't talk. So she's she not can't... capable of screaming for help. I was going to say, so she couldn't even okay. yell for... Those That's who knew Christina fucked. said that she was adept at nonverbal communication. That is so fucked. They but if no one had been around to see they, those gestures, we however, only know the mom Christina for sure. would have been unable Left to advocate her for herself. To fucking cook. It's also important to note that Christina's disability didn't mean she didn't have sensation in her limbs. Oh. She likely would have been able to feel and understand exactly what was happening oh, to her, fucked. but was powerless to stop that it. That is so fucked. Did it occur to you at any time to pick up a rock and break the window? Seriously, I mean, seriously, think about it. No, I had, oh, she, she was asleep. Rita said she was asleep. I had, still, I mean, you got a child locked in a car, especially a child yes. like that. I, I don't know. Here's what I'm saying. I could see tried. if he if he really didn't so, know what was going right on. Now it's, it's Not initially serious. hopping and fucking yes. break of the window. Because I would be, I don't know. I don't know. I could see it. Oh, that would be someone's first thought. I'm trying to let you, let you know. Not that, not that, I mean, the autopsy is going to tell a lot, yes. okay? It's going to tell me a, a lot of things. Yes, sir. So you saying that you asked Rita to break the window? I asked. I said, baby, you want me to bust out the front of You can see where I put my hand up, up there, whatever, in the footage. You know, and I tried. But um, she said no. And, um, she said no. It'd be cheaper just to go. But, what the fuck? <laughs> she coming to us now. Yeah. Larry might have been able to laugh now, but any lightheartedness would soon become impossible Jesus when Christ. confronted with the gravity of his choices. 
you get the car open, yeah, and what you I find is a 12 year old that's deceased. Yeah. At that time, Randy takes her out of the car, lays her on the ground where she was. You called 911. And from there, everybody's coming. I'm sure it seemed like an eternity. It's still, it's just starting up. You know, I've been up and out of it and all. Making the decision not to break the window even more confusing was the fact that although money was tight for the single mother of a disabled child, according to Ashley, Rita had never shied away from providing for Christina. Mom accommodated her in so many ways growing up. She worked three jobs as a tutor, Aww. and she cleaned houses, drugs, and she was man. a teacher drugs just to help pay off up. a drugs handicapped bathroom that she got for med? Christina because Actually mom just she wanted brain. to make sure that we had the best. At the police station, like, the investigator damn. speaking with Larry stepped out and went to talk to Rita. I don't doubt that she actually was like a pretty good mom for like a bunch of years. At least the last However, like two and a half years. However, they were called away to review some evidence the in the midst started. of their conversation with her. Temporarily left to her own devices oh my again. Gosh, look Rita resumed the camera talking to herself and talking about how much she misses her daughter. I love that little girl. <laughs> I couldn't pick her up no more. I couldn't pick her up no more. <laughs> it also became gross, obvious that Rita didn't have a lot of confidence in what Larry show. was telling the police. I mean, the fact that she locked eyes with the camera the bus, one point right? is ridiculous. You threw me under the bus. You threw me under the bus. Oh my God, you threw me under the bus. Rita was wrong about that, what however. The fuck? If she was going to take the fall, it wouldn't be alone. After an hour and a half, a different investigator sat down with Larry. It was finally time to confront him with the real version of events provided by the security camera. What it showed was outrageous. Okay. We've just sat and watched the DVR. So having said that, anything that you have previously told Detective Marcarella and the sled agent, do you want to change any of that? You don't want to change anything? The police weren't convinced, oh though. Oh, my God. You was pretty pissed this morning. Yeah, hurt me, man. You know why I know you was pretty pissed this morning? Because your camera just told me that. You know what I saw on that camera this morning? Who put the baby in the car? How did you put her in the car? I, I don't know. I held her like that. Mm -hmm. right. You held her like that. Can you account for your actions? Yes, ma'am. I have to. You have to. That's right. Yes, you do. <laughs> I want you to think for a minute how you put that baby in that car. I want you to think about that for a minute. When y'all were arguing and fighting, She's been running around on you. She's been shacking up with somebody else. You're pissed. Tell me how you put that baby in that car. I mean, I, don't, I swear to God, I don't remember everything, but I was aggravated. Yes, you were. And, and it shows. What did I do? You threw her in oh that car. Oh, my God. Basically what? upside down. And it the looks fuck? like she probably didn't go in all the way because both of you have to bend back over like you got to grab her. To get her in the car the rest oh of the way. Oh my god. And then he closed the door. Like that poor child. Especially in the situation. You threw her in the car upside down. Oh, I didn't mean to. But you did. What the what fuck? Did what you, you mean you didn't mean to? Nah, that's some bullshit. Because you were angry. <clears throat> what you mean you didn't mean to? Oh, I swear to God, I can't believe it. Was Christina in the way? I don't want to be like in the way of. Have your relationship. There you go, we'll do that. I mean, he said to take care of That's so fucked. For you to put a car to his own for her and there you Like, oh my god. And shut her door and she was fine. She was fine. So she didn't limit Rita from doing stuff with you? No, I don't know. If she needed to run in the store and pick something up, how how often would that happen that she would just leave her at the house? Mm -hmm. I did not never know her to do that. How often do you leave her home alone? Never. She always has a sitter. Always. Let me finish my question. How about that? Okay. Ooh. How often do you leave her at home in her room alone? In her room? Yeah. Uh, she, she, uh, she's in her room, but the door stays open, but I'm always there.
This was a point of contention with Rita's former roommate, oh, Brittany Honeycutt. No. As soon as she heard oh, what had happened to Christina, no. she rushed to the police station to give oh, a statement shit. about some concerning behavior she had witnessed <laughs> while living in Rita's house. She also spoke with Iwu in an exclusive interview. Towards the end, she literally left Christina in the room, and I had no idea Christina was even in bed. And oh I woke up the God. next morning to Christina trying to get out of her room, and she couldn't. Oh. It got worse than that, though. Oh. Christina had a fall and she had a bloody nose and I called Rita and I was like hey you have to come get her because she's bleeding and she's freaking out uh -huh. and Rita was like oh she'll be fine just clean her up and she refused to come it took us an hour for her to even get to the house meanwhile the police pushed That's Larry so harder fuck. she knows that the baby's in her car I did I forgot all about it I mean, I was uh, honest to God. You forgot about her. Yeah, but uh, she knew that she was in there. She told us that. Yeah. Me up two days, me upset, I'm hurt. I'm just... So when you go back into the house and you and you If he really was up two days straight hours, and dealing with all this, he might just no, be dumb. You know? no, I mean, him throwing Despite her in the car the way he did, that's the only it, the thing that I can't really persisted. write off is just They'd him being like tired hours, and not remembering leaving things, Christina you know? on her own. That's, that's Why didn't intense. she ever feed her? That's how I can eat. You just got to put a little effort into it. Would you be surprised or shocked if I told you there wasn't any food in that house? None? Besides buys, Kool Aid and Insure? Yeah, but she don't cook. She usually buys out every night, every day. That's expensive, bro. Even the cheapo the food fast for food her, is still not expensive. For Christina. She just gives her a sippy cup. Are you kidding? Suck on. That poor child. Sprite and, uh, Sprite and milk and Pediasure. Uh huh. I've asked Rita why she do not feed her. Uh huh. She's out of her hair now. She don't have to worry about her anymore. Police may have gotten this idea when some of Rita's previous mutterings took I know a disturbing people who turn. I literally have, literally have takeout like every night. And it's not, I hate to say it, but it's not even like, it's the cheapo. So even cheap Police takeout, I feel like, still adds up really fast. If Christina had grown to such a point that it was difficult for Rita to shit. manage her, But on top to of that, if you're having quote-unquote cheap takeout like problem, every other day, most that is way possible. so bad for your body. Elizabeth strongly that, that's disagreed negative with the theory that right Christina's there. death could have been malicious. The actions ended in a very awful, tragic situation in my life. I will not defend those actions. I grieve the actions. I wish they were different. I wish they would have done a better job digging into like the reasoning and what hey, happened because my, my mom had no intent to harm Christina. She loved her so much. There was a and lot the more work siblings, to be done before the police what could I've say for sure the what older Rita's motive is here. They're only singing praises, right? Number one, it's your mom. Number two, the vibe that I get is she had probably a lot more energy earlier on in her life and a lot less going on in terms of, like, I doubt she was actively using drugs and that kind of thing. And she probably was a really good mom, but I feel like the last, like, two to three years is when the decline started and it just got worse. And from the comments made by the siblings there, it seems like they didn't hang out all the time. It was more like a once or like a couple times a year situation for like holidays and birthdays at like a setting like a party. It It's way easy to pretend for a day that you're a good parent than to actually be a good parent every day. And if she was actively taking drugs and doing things and if even a quarter of what's being said is true, it sounds like that was the case. So it's probably hard for the older children there to wrap their heads around, but I really do feel like that's exactly what happened is she probably was a really good mom for a while, but she should have, I'm not defending her actions, but I feel like she should have had help in some way, not necessarily a partner, but like, I feel like when you're dealing with certain conditions, especially in like children and stuff, I feel like that you should be able to get assistance from the state for that, especially if you're a single parent, because that can be very taxing and draining on the daily. It just is. And that's not really usually ever a resource available, at least in the U.S. that I'm aware of. There's obviously options to, like, reach out and try to get help for things, get aids for things, get carers for things. But all those things usually cost a decent amount of money. And when you have a single parent that's probably struggling as is, 
Like, that can be really hard. It was. According to Brittany, Again, this was not the only time and Christina had been and left while Rita and busied herself Killing elsewhere. a child is certainly when not the answer, but I can yelling see how you get to that point. And saying she needed so, like, a break I and she would go lock herself in the bedroom older, and Christina would be banging on her door trying to get her, her attention. I feel like you know, a lot of their memories crying. of her are, are mostly earlier in her life because it was when they were younger when she probably had more energy and could do more and did do more. And act like a more of a proper parent. And the newer memories with their mom are probably just those like birthday party memories, holiday memories, where I'm sure she pretended that she was doing amazing. It wasn't just she was making noises. I don't think there she showed up to any of birthday parties I would or holidays and she with a bag of meth. literal you know? tears banging it's on just, the door for her mom. It's just and her that mom kind of thing. was too busy doing whatever she wanted so to do. So I would be more in inclined bedroom. to believe this woman on screen because she was the former roommate. So like, that makes surprise. sense. She saw every Before day. Before Christina died, the Department of Social Services, or DSS, had received five Damn. complaints against Rita. The last complaint was lodged by Christina's school only five months before her death. Oh. She'd been dropped off at school with untreated <gasps> burns on fuck? her face, neck, what and chest. What the fuck? The school asked Rita to have the burns treated, but when no action was apparent, the school once How again she contacted DSS. That's a different type of injury. The story didn't seem injury. to surprise Brittany. And she said, do not answer the door if anybody knocks on the door, rings the doorbell. She's like, do not answer the door for anybody. So when she said that, we were like, well, she goes, yeah, somebody called um, DSS on me. And I think that they're going to come and talk to me. And she goes, you're not allowed to talk to them. As police knew, uh -uh, things only that. got worse if for Christina after that. And at some point in the video, it seems like y'all can sort of calm down. Honestly, fuck that. You tell me DSS is called and I'm seeing any signs of potential abuse, and I'm calling DSS. I'm not a huge fan of children being taken away from their homes or parents losing rights to their children, but at the same time, in certain circumstances, it does protect the child to a certain degree. It's it's one of those, I think, like better of two evils type situations because there's obviously a lot of horror stories from people who have experienced being in the system and being pulled out of a house because of DSS. But at the same time, would you rather that happen or would you rather more potential harm happen at the hands of the parents? And relax. It's, uh, or parents okay. in this case. Y'all start hugging each other. <clears throat> Y'all are standing close to each other. Seems like you've relaxed a little bit. So the things calm down a little bit. Y'all went inside and had. What the fuck? How long did y'all have to? How much I have, baby, I don't know. While Rita and Larry Jesus may claim Christ. not to know how much time had passed, the CCTV was counting every minute. They were gone this time for a little under an hour. And Christina had been suffering inside the heated car for over Jesus three hours. Christ. Then you come outside and listen to me. Oh then you come outside God. and you find out your car is locked. And you can't get in. Now, at this time, your daughter is laying in there, totally dependent on you. She can't open a car door like a normal 12-year-old or 13-year-old. Okay? Oh she relies God. on mom. Do you remember touching the hood hours. of the car to feel how hot it was? I don't. You did. When y'all looked in the car, before you ever left to come to town to get the key, when y'all looked in the car, what did you see? I couldn't even see the child in there. The windows was dark, plus me, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Then Jesus. I looked in there. Y'all looked in there. I remember looking to see in the front windshield log. While Larry may not have been able to see Christina, Rita had been caught by CCTV suspiciously looking into the car's window several times. I was going to say that you've looked multiple times One wonders times what she now, saw brother. and how she can now brother. claim that she forgot Christina was in there. After a few minutes, Rita and Larry brought some tools to the porch. While Larry leisurely prepared to break into the car, Rita established that the doors yeah, had not unlocked by not themselves. Larry tried to pry several windows open, him. but with no results. I this don't didn't know. appear I'd to like worry to the couple. That it wasn't a what thing they decided to do them, next was, was even less productive. Thing for him. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. Y'all realize she's in the car. 
Ooh, I you, feel like you, the you mess around with the cross the and get in there. You can't get in just there. Just kind of like laughing. Y'all come back up on the porch. Do you at that point? Y'all go over and y'all sit on the swing, and y'all sit there and swing for like uh-uh. thirty minutes. Reason, she got her there. Just, but at that point, do you, do you remember the car running at that point? He's on like Facebook, bro. Who the fuck? A lot of my coworkers still use Facebook, and that surprises me. While the officer said Rita and Larry relaxed on the porch swing for 30 minutes, it it was closer to 15. I used Discord. Not that that was any better, because by that point, Christina was trapped in the car (laughs) for over four hours. Oh my god! Probably already succumbed to the extreme heat and her mother's negligence by now. When he asked Rita about the events she, of that so dreadful how long, afternoon. At first I had, thought they said two hours. How long was she actually in the car for? What the say. fuck? Something was wrong with the car. Something like, look at how shitted the inside of that car is. Just from what you can see. Look at There is poop doo doo all along the floor with that. That is not okay. Get a bag. Clean it. How fuck shit in that car? Because not only did the air conditioning stop running, but oh, it God, locked. Never mind. Take fucking wet wipes and fucking there, sanitizer and, and cleaner spray. I Ew, that that's disgusting. Door, so we it, and your car was so hot. The car was still running, but it was blowing hot air. Like the heater was on. It felt like it was a thousand degrees. The officer interrogating Rita clearly had some strong feelings about the situation, malfunction or not. Uh, air conditioner. What happened if the car caught fire? She couldn't not defend herself. A lot of people will, a, a stupid amount of people will leave their kids in the car because they're like, oh, it's safe. I. More people need to realize that that is not a thing. Like, that is not... Unless you're going into a dangerous situation, bring your kid with you. And they were... What kills me is this is right outside of a house. I would assume the house is safe for that, that child, or at least safe enough, you know? What would have happened if she had a seizure? Yeah, she oh, is... I know. On top of her, I our, our, on top of her I other know. health okay. issues, the mom so did mention she has had seizures. So, like, you so don't know. I would be paranoid. I wouldn't be going anywhere without being able to see my truck. child or without having and someone watching my child. And where was the thir- where was your little 13-year-old daughter? In the backseat of a locked car. Larry and Rita hadn't rushed to the other car to rescue Christina. They rather chose to linger in Larry's outhouse, engrossed in conversation. Despite the urgency oh, of Christina's another, situation, the couple appeared oh, almost CCTV? indifferent okay, to the so child's this... plight on that sweltering afternoon. I don't Moreover, know they didn't rush into Larry's from... car that right away either. Larry stumbled upon a problem right with his vehicle that right he deemed more building. pressing than know. rescuing a child. It's on one of the sides of the building. While Rita remained seated, engaging in conversation with Larry as he repaired the car's seat. They squandered an additional 20 minutes before finally pulling out How of the How many hours was she in it's that still car? still an hour, hour and a half before y'all even leave to go and get the key. Why in the, why would she just not bust the window? Why would she at that point not, you, her, or somebody? You know what, Angie, what's sad, honest to God. I, I, at that point, I was just... God forgive me, but being screwed up, I done we all forgot, trying to about, figure... forgot about the little girl, but I was just thinking we trying to get in the car. How the fuck do you, nah, no, I'm not, yeah. Jesus, that's what I'm I hate to say it, but that is pretty tough. I mean, I was, I was just up. I mean, I would, I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not a defense, I mean, though, I don't no way. He's like, I just forgot. There's, huh? What do you mean? We all literally peeped the kid in the back seat. She acted kind of anxious there when she was pulling on the doors. That, that in itself would prove that. On this matter, Rita and Larry lead to prove that they agreed. were aware the child was still in the car. That is one of the reasons why I stayed with him as long as I did. Because I didn't want to get so let me explain this to you, okay? So you guys drive all the way to your house on Academy, mm-hmm. then turn around and come all the way back. Now, how like, many why hours would you pass? fucking call the cops? If you were in your house for two hours, grab something to smash a window. I'm and telling you what he's telling me, okay? At least two hours. How long does that trip take? I don't know. Thirty minutes. I was just close to the window. I knew so, that. I knew 
No, 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 no. Why uh, did you tell me? It's cheaper for you to go get your key. Because I thought the air conditioner was on. I thought she was... I don't care if it was blowing all the air. You're right. You're right. I know, I know. I you left a helpless child. I They're know. actually, like, digging I into them more than I thought they would. I know. I know. I know. Oh, my God. Do not put your hands on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You left a helpless child by herself For hours. in an automobile that was running. That supposedly the air conditioner was on. Again, I right outside a house that she could have been in. That's like. And then you drove oh my God. all the way in here. Takes about 40. I know. I know. Takes 40 about 45 minutes. minutes. Ain't no goddamn way. So that's 45 minutes one way. That's an hour Jesus and a half. Jesus Christ. So now we're about three and a half, four hours. And from there to my house, about 20 minutes. So whatever. It took them exactly 48 minutes and 15 seconds to oh make that round God. trip. Oh my God. Shillingly, yeah, this Rita's point, she was well dead, though. Said that I don't, I feel like it was probably two, maybe three Christina hours. And cars had caused concern. That would kill she her, depending on how hot it was. And that that I how she was Christina with me to work was fucking and leave her in my car while I was parked in the parking lot of my that job also adds with to it. the windows down. And she said Christina would be fine as long as she had her cup. And, and when she said that to me, I said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because... How dare you tell me I that? I hope to God that the previous roommate called DSS on her. Like, I would have called multiple times because what the fuck? Between what she's saying she saw herself and then all the stuff that was happening. Like, how do you not? How do you with a clear fucking conscience not call DSS? Or someone? Like, I would probably actually call the cops or go to the cops and see what steps I could take if I was in that situation. Because I'd be like, yeah, there's definitely a form of abuse happening. Like, this isn't okay. And then you proceed to tell me you've done it a couple times? Unfortunately, a week later, literally seven days later, when I found out how she passed, Jesus. it was like, she really would do that. That's when everything just like, whoa. Like, holy crap. <laughs> And it sucks, like, all the way around, but she Rita saw, insisted that she'd like, never she asked Brittany to watch Christina, much so less she, encouraged uh, her to leave her in the car. However, her other statement so seemed to be at odds to... with what she mm. told police. I mean, I've been in the car before, but not for that amount of time. I Hopefully not five fucking that. hours. Jesus yes, Christ. In the car. Again, <laughs> I, it's one of those things where over a certain age, I don't think it's bad to leave your kids in the car for a short period of time. When I say short, I literally mean, okay... I'm giving you a copy of the keys. I'm locking the doors because at that point I'm I'm thinking someone between like 13 and like an older teenager. I'm giving you the keys. I'm locking the doors. Don't unlock the doors unless it's me. Uh, AC's on or anything else is on that needs to go on. I'm going in, running, running, running into the store and grabbing something. I'll be back in 10 minutes maybe. Like that, I think is fine when you're dealing with 13 and up. But if that if that if that child has any type of issues, any type of conditions, or any type of medical problems, fuck that. No, you're coming in with me. Like, I, ugh. Oh. <coughs> you open that door. Sure as shit, you're not staying in that car for five hours. What? Oh my god, I know, sir. I know. I know. I can't believe it. I hope she died basically as fast as she could have, but there's no way that girl didn't suffer. She couldn't vocalize that she was in pain or in trouble. She could feel herself being cooked. The officer's suspicion likely and on top arises of that, from Rita's she was more inconsistent than likely distress thrown levels. in the car like For face example, down or in an awkward position. To switch her hyperventilation on the fuck? seems to indicate that it's fake. Everything true hyperventilating that this is doesn't fake. work that way. I have no. been grounded. Sure, sure I'm not going to die. 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 I'm not
sir. No, sir. No, sir. I can't get over from earlier where she like her eyes made fucking contact directly with the camera and then she decided to act up like that was the most obvious thing in the world. What the fuck? Narcotics while she's in the care of a child child who's completely dependent on you. Correct. A good mother does not put her child in the car and leave her in the car. Like I said, I don't doubt that she was a good mother probably years ago. The final amount of time Christina was left in the car, which police would soon reveal to Rita and Larry, was absolutely appalling. A look at Rita's Facebook page unearthed this post, which reads, One thing about me is when I don't care anymore, you're going to feel it. Oof. Could this have been exactly what Oof. happened to Christina? Oof. Police brought up this sinister question with Larry. A lot of people love a lot of people, but sometimes when they get to that point, they need that break, and they're going to do and what they need to do. this is where I'm talking about, like, She's I feel like when you have a child with certain disabilities or certain child, things going why on, would where she they not need do to be right in someone's child. care 24-7, essentially. I feel like out. the state, whatever state you're in, I feel like there should be options for either low-cost or state-funded options to help you in that situation. Because what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Like, smart enough to get in a car that's locked? I could get in So was this her way out today? Let's put the blame on everybody else. She done got caught with another man. She's trying to make up with you. She doesn't need to be bothered with Christina at the moment. So here's the perfect opportunity to get rid of her, put the blame on somebody else, and now she's free reign. I swear to God, I, I don't want to think that she was, and I pray to God that she and now you likely to get locked up. She ain't got a youngin' to worry about anymore. And mm. she's free to do whatever young she wants to do. Oh my God, that's so fucking. Well, the <laughs> Jesus, there are certain could. words that you do not hear in the fucking hood. How does that get play out for you? Youngin' is one of those. What the fuck? Yeah, so they did say on and off relationships, so. While police might have initially found Larry's claim hard to believe, Brittany added some context to issues he may oh, have been shit. referencing. She would always talk about these missions, and later on I found out these missions were ways for her to sabotage Larry King's property. Posts from Rita's Facebook mention these so-called missions, including this post reading, One Mission at a Time, Doesn't Everyone Love Surprises? She tagged Larry in another post that said, Stop being the bigger person, slash their tires. Continuing Jesus with the timeline Christ. of events, the security footage That's showed that it took hope. Rita and Larry almost That's an hour to return hope. with a second set of keys. But oh that didn't God. mean it was time to try to rescue Christina oh yet. Oh, my God. Because, shockingly, the couple sat in the truck for another five minutes. A new Jeez. problem arose. Larry previously said the battery on the second fob turned out to be dead. They still couldn't get into the car. When their first efforts didn't pay off, the pair decided to get creative. As you can probably guess, shaking the car had no effect whatsoever. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, that's that's right now, you get back. You have to play with the lock to get it open, right? Okay, so you play with the lock. Get it's it funny open. how the hyperventilating yes, just continuously no, starts and stops so fast. I, I know. I know. That's my baby. I was our soul caregiver for 13 years. I'm so sorry to hear that. I made the worst mistake in my life. Yes, you sure did. Rita and Larry eventually got the car open using What's a manual. What's sad is if they did it faster. Like, if she put more thought into it, like, slipped her something or did something to basically make her weak and then left her in the car for a much shorter amount of time, she could have still, she could have potentially actually gotten away with it 
and the CCTV footage could have actually aided her in that way. I'm really glad that she was a dumb fuck because Jesus Christ. Like, they didn't pretend to rush at all. Like, she puts on an act when they open the door, but you can see her looking in the car multiple times. Like, key, I just... which was hidden in the side of the key fob for emergencies just like this. Tragically, the key discovery came far too late. As Rita dragged Christina's body from the car, Larry placed his call to 911. Uh, Hello, sir? Yes, sir. How long has it been since you got her out of the vehicle? <sighs> Probably 15, 15 minutes. As soon as I got her out, man, I called you 10 minutes. I don't know, man. Since the time I got her, I called you immediately, man. <laughs> okay. And do you have her right there with you? Yes, sir. Okay, and you think she's passed away? Sir? You think she passed away? I know she is, man. If I got out the car, she's gone. Okay. But we had AC going, bro. We had AC going. We talked for a little bit. And she got, we five got in the hours. car. Oh, she was I in know it's the been at board, least five man. hours. Is he going to announce how ex oh, exactly God. the amount of time oh, that she was in the car? I know. I know. I know. You messed up and your child paid for it. That poor little girl. I know. I know. I know. I, uh, I mean, now, I don't care what happens to me. I deserve whatever yeah, I do. I'm glad you said that. When y'all didn't get the door open, where was Christina? How, how was she positioned? Went back, Rita started freaking out, and I went and looked in the door. I think she was maybe face down. Was she in the seat? Was she on the floorboard? Was she partially in the seat, partially in the floorboard? Christ. He put her in. I feel I think I know. There was no huh? way Christina could have ended up on the floor of the car if she'd been buckled in like Rita claimed. I was holding her. I was holding her out screaming. They were just going out one more. Uh-huh. You saw what I had to see. I know, I know, my God, I know, sir. I know, I know. I can't believe it. I can't believe it happened. In our interview, Rita stated, And I didn't want to take care of her. I, there was, you know, I, I could have sent her away. I would have yeah, never, Yeah, there were options never, there, okay, ma'am. You didn't have to her. murder her, but and she did, so. Such, and That's crazy. Away. I mean, the only thing that you could devil's advocate here is if she was high on, like, meth. Then, yeah, I could see her even peeking in the car and saying, oh, yeah, she's sleeping or whatever. Meth fucks a person up. But, it, again, it doesn't excuse that you were doing after discovering drugs Christina with your child, deceased, like, Rita and Larry decided face. the most prudent thing to do was leave her body on the front lawn while they went back inside the house. What the fuck? Do you realize that the dog goes over there? And spends more time with that baby than her own mama does. Jesus. More than you do. That's fucked up. Too. And on a 911 call, when you're calling 911, you're telling them that that's your daughter, and the dog went over there, spent more time with that child laying on the ground dead. I couldn't show I couldn't. I couldn't, Angela. It freaked me out. Yeah. She sat in that car and cried. Yeah, she cooked. So you left her in the car by herself. Then she you cooked. The by she herself. literally oh, cooked in the car I'm while sure. her yeah, mom and her mom's boyfriend I mean, argued, I, made up, had sexy times, chilled on the porch, she's off went to go get a key God, just, for 45 minutes and then another 45 yeah. minutes, came back, chilled a little bit more, and then finally opened that car door. Again, I'm hoping she died within a couple dead. hours. Because even so, those those few well, hours had to have been fucking agonizing. Hey, Alphonse, what is that? Alphonse! What is that? She's gone. She's gone. Like, I just... The, the amount of times they go in and out of that house well, alone mom, and don't actually check on the child. I don't know, come up with no story. Because I would never hurt... Especially in such a...
Rita's reaction to the discovery of her daughter's body was quite the opposite of how she reacted in the interrogation room. Soon after pulling a lifeless Christina from the car, Rita was seen picking up a cigarette from her car and leaving her child's lifeless body Jesus unattended Christ. as she ran after Larry, desperate for a comforting hug. In what looked like a blame game, Rita and Larry engage in another heated argument. Their frustration is palpable as Larry reels off information from the 911 oh call my God. while Rita paces around with a cigarette. The ci okay, here's what I have to say. The cigarette is a weird thing, but there... <sighs> It's that can also be like a nervous reaction, anxious reaction, upset reaction. She's reaching out for comfort in some type of way. Yes, it's weird that she physically moved away from her body, from her daughter's body, but like I wouldn't necessarily see that and go, "Oh, that person guilty." Now, every fucking thing else that has happened up until now, including her leaving the child in the car for five hours at least, like that reads as guilty. There are some people when they find especially their loved one's bodies, they can't be in the same space as that person's body because it freaks them out. I don't think that necessarily spells out guilt. This has been an accident. This is an act stupidity. Yes. Yes, it was. Aw, sorry, Vika. Did you not hear crying? Did you not hear hollering? She got the, the fact that the fucking child is not verbal pisses me off, too. She literally couldn't do anything. She couldn't move. She couldn't try to get out. She couldn't scream for help. She cooked. She sat in that car for five hours. That lay there and suffered. Like, what? six hours. Oh, six? To the point where she was in the car with her mom. She literally sat in there and cooked until her body gave out. That is so fucked. All right, give us a minute. While police like, deliberated, if that was a grown adult, if that was anyone, that would be fucked. Rita. But it was a ch disabled child. A child that could not do anything to make their situation better. They were just there helpless. Brittany offered wait, more of her it? thoughts on the case. No, 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 wait, Christina Laundry. All right, give us a minute. While police deliberated, one officer stopped by to check on Rita. Huh? Well? Like you wow. Damn. Damn. Offered more of her yeah, thoughts no, he on was the case. pissed. Christina uh, loved again, Rita. I, I'm willing and to bet that some of those the interrogators have asked her about children. So it's one of those she things wanted things that, like, that love in return. Did you do that? And she couldn't get it. But I don't care what anybody says. Drugs are no drugs. She did not care about Christina. Which again, oh, I, the vibe I very that. much do, and you could uh, the vibes that I get very much are that she probably was a decent, uh, maybe not an amazing mom, but at least a decent mom for at least the first few years of her being a mom. Because the the way those older children speak about her so positively, I don't think that's denial. I think that's literally just their childhoods were pretty fucking decent, and at least Christina's earlier existence on this earth was probably a very pleasant one it's just the last few years not so much slowly see it she was trying to find anybody in her power to take christina off of her hands instead of doing it the legal and right way the detectives talking to rita and larry swapped around one last time and so, a new oh, investigator sucks, briefly can. sat down with rita can i tell you the older this little girl can i tell you but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, oh, but listen, Jesus. I got a job to tell you and to let you know and to speak for this baby because she's not able to and never will again, okay? <laughs> accident happened. This is an accident that's not supposed to happen. This was no accident. This was, if Every you to sit and that's and play games and you and Larry fight and you run around yeah, and this and that, turn so your baby over to somebody face, that can take care funny. of it. Don't let them have to come to the base. Dead in a car. Like, what the fuck? You got big damn medical problems. You got something. It didn't take long for the police to <laughs> decide something. what the next step you was. You got meth in your system. I would like to know what concoction of drugs she may or may not have in her bloodstream. Because they did take a blood test, so. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my gosh, no, please. Man. You're under arrest for homicide of that 12-year-old child. Damn. 
Oh, I thought it was 13. I thought she was 13. Santa. I think it's 12. Oh, my gosh. Your actions and the actions of Arena led to the death of that child. Yeah, they they around, put you in I would yeah, definitely. I no, I would put. Oh, my God. Because no. all Your he actions, had to do was call the cops. Even if he didn't know about what was happening, he knew he, there was no rushing. Like, there was no urgency in anything he did. I feel like if you. I feel like if anyone rational was in that situation that was innocent, they would see her in the back and not be able to get in the car and freak out and either bust in a window, call the cops. Or both, like, as soon as possible. Not let me sit on a swing and be on Facebook and chatting with you for, like, five to ten minutes. And then we'll go get keys that are 45 minutes. Like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, the accident six hours of laying in the car. It was not in the yeah, it was. I just went to the DVR and it. watched it. It was a child. It was a 12 year old innocent child. It was six oh my hours. hours. Oh my God. Six oh hours. And again, oh the fact, God, like, no. I, I'm hoping it was drugs. I heard at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m., and did oh not God. get her out of that car oh until five. I know about that, my poor baby. Christina was left Jesus in the car Christ. for a total of five hours and 42 God minutes. Damn. When her body was examined, medical professionals Aww. found burns on her legs, ruptured blisters all over her skin, and vomit in her lungs. Oh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. She's got burns. Oh, Lord. Said she's burned. How badly is she burned? Uh, she's got, she's got her skin, man. It's, I swear, yeah, it's bad. Oh my I God. Swear. Oh Lord, okay. you know what burned, burned her? I guess maybe, man. But, and the car, yeah. it's, it's done. Got yes, yeah, got hot, bro. Because you know. <laughs> Okay, Lord, the vehicle much. was running whenever you put her in there. Oh though? yeah, 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 man, it was running with AC running with AC water. She turned blue from lack of Jesus oxygen. Jesus Christ! When first responders attempted to take her temperature, the thermometer maxed out at 109.9 oh degrees God. Fahrenheit. Her actual temperature could have been much higher. Oh. Hyperthermia I mean, or extreme cooked. fever was determined to be her cause of death. Horrifically, Larry was right when he spoke with 911, and rigor mortis had already begun to set in when Christina's body was removed from the vehicle. This process begins approximately two hours after death, meaning that Christina likely perished before Rita and Larry even left to go get the second so set of four keys. Hours in, Eerily, like right it wasn't there, as if Rita she... hadn't Still, looked through the window and seen her daughter. Fucking hours. She checked on five separate occasions, that's but four one hours never be able of to suffering in that car. And probably the first half checks. an hour wasn't bad. Oh, Although, I, I don't know if I'll even argue that because she was in a weird position. She was face down. So she probably was somewhat struggling basically from like five minutes in, and then it just got worse and worse and worse. Shortly after being arrested, Rita and Larry broke up for good. The results from the blood Fuck. test confirmed that methamphetamine was yep, in both was of their meth. systems. There was a significant Ain't delay no in court proceedings due to COVID-19, so a verdict wasn't reached until oh, late damn. 2023. What? While out on bail during this time, Rita remarried to a man oh named my Tony God. in November. How does that shit happen? How the fuck do bitches that are involved in this kind of shit like actively fucking remarry someone else? Like, unless you're lying to them about everything that you've recently been going through and are going through? Like, how the fuck? How? ...number of 2022. In an exclusive interview with Iwu, Tony admitted that he was not aware of the case when he and Rita started dating. My opinion of her did not change because I know what type of person she is. She is a really good person. Oh, Rita's God. daughters also continued she to not. stand by her side. My mom on August person, 5th was not the face, Rita, dude. like we know. And, that's, and drugs do that to people, whether you take them by choice or by not. That is they the are the children are like giving this slant of like she didn't want to do drugs, but she did do drugs. And it's like. 
I doubt the boyfriend fucking shoved drugs into her mouth and into her body. And however, the first few times she used, I feel like it was a consensual thing. And you as an adult are making that cognitive decision. Like, yeah, a lot of people when they do their first what hit, hit of whatever probably aren't anticipating being addicted to it and it leading to horrible, horrible things. But I, that is part of the responsibility of making those decisions as an adult. And that's why you shouldn't be taking any type of drugs like that. The only thing that I will say that I think personally you should indulge in every once in a while, if you're if if it helps you in some way, would be weed. Because that has been shown to help in a lot of instances when you're dealing with different mental health issues or when you're dealing with some chronic pain issues. But even then, I would still say safely play around with it. Don't take a huge dose just to take a huge dose. And because I I would hope you're using it for a specific reason, not just to get zooted. You know, microdosing is a thing and it can help a lot of people in a lot of situations. And it doesn't affect your... I will say microdosing I don't think affects your judgment too much, but overall... It should still be treated as an intoxicating substance because it is. It can muddle that. It can make your judgment kind of waver and be weird and not great. Reality and the consequence consequences of but my whole of thing drugs. is your mom. She's not the person that the media it you know, sucks, has stressed or made her out to be. And she, she made you know, the she, she they made. they they witnessed a couple of days of her life that ended in a horrific you know, tragedy that will, uh, the same token that I can also understand forget. if but what I think is true is true, why they not think that at the end of the day. I mean, I was like, it doesn't matter what anyone they tells probably me. Probably never because I don't have my little sister it anymore. Could be happening, I don't care if- I would also throw in there that because they didn't live together or seemingly visit each other super often, I would love to know how different their reactions to this would have been if one or both of them were in a living situation with their mom in the months leading up to it. Because according to that roommate, there was some devious shit occurring leading up to this happening. About the facts. Elizabeth was the one who later planned Christina's funeral. It was Dora the Explorer themed, since that was one of Christina's favorite things. We even played um, the We're Going on the Adventure song at the funeral. In September 2023, Rita and Larry were convicted of murder and inflicting Good, great bodily did. harm to a child. Rita I, had I, this. My thing would be like, who do you place more blame on? I think they're both equally to blame. We don't know if there's any planning involved or if, like... But because of his reactions, it makes me think that she may have said a thing or two to him and he just kind of played along. Because there's no urgency there. That I feel like there would be that sense of urgency in just about anyone who saw a child suffering. And it's a mixture of that and the fact that it looks like he he's the one who put her in the vehicle. And when he put her in the vehicle, it looks like he put her like face down at a weird, awkward position. That doesn't make sense. That don't make no sense at all. What's to say about her sentencing? Prison can't even be as hard on me as I have been on myself. The last four you years. You made those it decisions, ma'am. Jesus happened. Christ. But it was an accident. And if they were to charge me with negligent homicide, you know, involuntary manslaughter, I would have, I, I would have taken a plea deal because it shouldn't happen. They would not offer me negligent homicide. Yeah, in some cases, there's so much. No, I mean, I guess it could be that, but in a lot of cases where that's not offered to you as a plea bargain that you can take, it's usually because, at least from what I've seen in many states, it's usually because there's enough evidence to show that it wasn't just, that there was intent there. It wasn't just, oops, I fucked up. In her case, I think it's the fact that it was, she was left in the car for so long that she went in and the house out of the house so many times and the fact that she physically looked in that car what five times in the course of all of this happening that takes away the whole well I was just being negligent no it's not that you were dumb there was there had and to have been some seed have, of intent you know, there. I have made that Rita was sentenced to 37 years for murder along with 20 years for great bodily harm to good. be served concurrently. Good. So it has Larry to be served back to Larry was sentenced to 32 years for so murder, at least, what, with a concurrent 20-year sentence I mean, for great bodily harm. Be, 
I don't know if Neither it could be are shorter. eligible for parole. Good. Rita said she's currently in the appeals process. Do I deserve to be yes, in prison? Yes, you for absolutely do. You robbed your child of her entire life. No matter what, Christina's Doesn't matter tragic what loss changed she the had, family that's forever. So fucked. And she is greatly missed. Aw. Aw. Yeah, I didn't know this was going to be as sad as it was, but. That was definitely a fucked up case. Like, god damn. God damn. I didn't realize that there would be a camera for the entire thing. Like, the fact they were able to point out exactly how fucking long that child sat there is just... That's fucking ridiculous to me. That is absolute ridiculousness. <clears throat> uh... I think I'm going to cut the stream here. Wasn't exactly what I was anticipating it be, but I don't think it was a bad time. I do apologize for all the technical issues. I genuinely, like, 45 minutes before stream started, I fucking went through. I started everything up. I even tested things. I obviously didn't boot up the game, but that's because I don't... I didn't know if there was going to be anything that happens when you start the game. I really like starting the... Hey, there we go. I really like starting new games and having that re reaction be fresh when I'm streaming. It's just maybe with VR, I, that's something I can't do. Although we did find the fix for it, so that's good. Next time I know what to do. Um, what I'm going to have to do next time, or what I think I'm doing next time, is I'll get everything set up. I'll recalibrate the headset. I'll hop into the game. I'll probably test it, not actually play anything, but maybe re-hop into that first night just to make sure I can reach everything just fine. Because the problem was... Because it wasn't calibrated correctly or it didn't want to be calibrated correctly, there was that skipping that was happening where it was funky movement that was I interrupting things. And also it kept me from pushing the buttons on the left side of the screen because I physically couldn't because of my desk and the things on my desk. Um, so next time I'm going to start everything up, get everything set up, calibrate it once, uh, test it, and then I might have to recalibrate it while I'm streaming. But that's the only thing I can think to do. But I do want to try to play through that game. Like, it seems like it'll be really fun. Really difficult, and probably kind of tedious at points. And I don't know how fast I'm going to be. I'm probably going to be slow. But I feel like it'll be fun. And if I remember to, I think what I'm also going to do is dig out the um, sound alerts board that's specifically FNAF themed and or throw together a list of sounds that you guys can pl uh, play on stream or redeem on stream that are specifically FNAF sounds because I feel like that'll also add to it because I can't see unless I put up, pull up the Twitch chat in VR that that's a noise that you guys played or if it's like ambiance in game or something to freak me out in game so I feel like that could be really fun I will get thoroughly spooked <laughs> for sure but we finished at least one night right that counts for something Run! <laughs> um, let me see. And it's been a while since we've done true crime. I do want to download some more true crime videos and stuff because the one, like the one that we just watched, is, is an older video. There are older videos I had downloaded from like a few months ago. Um, I want to do at least one true crime stream a week, either an unplanned one or a planned one. I don't know. But I kind of would like to do that. I want to have one gaming stream that's planned a week. And then one either planned or unplanned true crime stream. Anything else, I can't really make promises on. Because that's down to the free time that I do have. Which I don't have a lot of free time, sadly. But, I mean, that's kind of a thought for me. Because I do want to... I do like streaming. <laughs> Zombie, what the fuck? Did you hear what I just said? Some of us have, like, strict schedules. And other things going on. I... <laughs> You know, don't threaten me with a knife. Don't be doing that. Oi. So Tuesday and Wednesday, no planned streams. Thursday, Halloween, uh, around 2 p.m., I figured we could do the Discord meme stream. Uh, enjoy some memes and laugh and talk about Halloween and anything else we're doing that day. And then around 4 p.m. at 4 p.m. on Halloween, uh, I was going to play some Until Dawn. That's, that's going to be fun. That's a spooky game, so... It'll be nice. It'll be interesting. 
A lot of people have work on Halloween. Well, it's because it lands on what? A Thursday? I'm trying to remember what day it lands on. Yeah, it lands on a fucking Thursday, which is kind of ass. It's better when it lands on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but any other day of the week kind of sucks. That's why a lot of people have, uh, have, like, evening Halloween plans when it lands during the week, but I have to download the game as well. <laughs> I'm gonna do that over the next couple days. But I'm excited. Uh, like I said earlier, Endo might actually sit in for the Until Dawn stream. Uh, he'll just be, like, an in-house audience because, like I said, he, he really likes the game. He's watched, like, multiple people play it. He's recommended to me a bunch of times, and he's also mentioned a bunch of times that he wants to know how bad I'd suck at it slash the decisions I'd make and what my reaction to the game would be. So I may or may not have told him that it was a plan later this week to play it, and I told him as long as he does a couple of things before coming on and chilling in my room uh, that he could chill in my room. So we'll see how that turns out. My family's Halloween plans this year are just really to throw on costumes Watch scary movie marathon and snack on things. Ooh, nice. Nice. I eventually have to actually play Spider-Man. <laughs> I do. I forget that my PS... My PlayStation is even here. I always forget. But yeah. I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day. I am going to stretch my legs... Uh, say hi to family members, see if my dad is home yet, because I'm not sure when he's getting home, and probably hit up my girlfriend and go from there. I really don't know. I was going to work out, but I don't normally work out for another, like, hour or so, so. I don't know, maybe I'll do it. I'll jump start that. I'll do that. We'll see. I'm going to have a lazy evening tomorrow. I'm walking to work, and I'm working until nine. Uh, yeah. I'm very, I'm pretty content with things happening. I'm a little stressed about some financial stuff, but it's mostly stuff outside of my control in ways of like either it's family related stuff. It's not directly me related stuff, or it's the fact that my work won't let me pick up hours because I'm already at that 40 hour mark, which is really frustrating. I'm hoping leaning into November that they'll offer overtime hours because holidays and retail and actual skeleton crew. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just excited to see what, what the future holds. I'm going to continue to be active. I'm going to continue to try to be healthier in how I eat and what I eat and what I put in my body. And I'm excited to see what changes will happen on tea. Nothing noticeable will probably happen for at least a couple weeks. I'm only on day four, but I am. I'm excited. Like, changes can happen literally three years out. It's, it's a whole ass puberty, which is kind of funky. Funky in the good way, but funky. <clears throat> Mom made dinner tonight, so I don't know what we're having for dinner. I'm going to have to make dinner Friday. Probably. Maybe. Finally, to use all my paid time off during holiday mandatory overtime. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck, Hypnotic? What the hell? Alrighty. Should I raid out? I'm, I don't think I'm going to raid out because we're doing true crime. When I'm raiding out and we're doing a game, I'll go ahead and search whatever game it is and I'll raid out, but I think I'm going to bow out peacefully tonight. Um. <sighs> I'm going to figure out what I'm doing for the evening. That's really all I got going on. Lazy day. I'm trying to embrace my days off as pretty lazy days other than like my normal daily workout. Because a lot happens during work days and stuff and I get overloaded and sen with my sensory issues and everything it can be kind of crazy. Oh, why is this not letting me down? Spotify is being dumb. I love it. Alrighty. This has definitely been nice. Like I said, I want to get back into the swing of things. I'm going to, um... Ah! 
I'm gonna try to make sure that the VODs from the last stream and this stream are not only cut and posted here, but also cut and posted to the YouTube channel. Um, Cause I don't want that falling behind again either. I should cover my entire house and its utilities with chrome paint next Halloween and just have a sign that reads everything is chrome in the future. Future. <laughs> this is a good fucking episode. <laughs> Yes! Uh, commit to the bit. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping next year I have more plans or more things going on when it comes to Halloween, but who knows? Right now I'm very grateful to be where I'm at and to have what I have going on and to have the hope and ha happiness that I have for my future for like many reasons. It's, if you go back like half a year ago and you told me that I would be starting my transition like my actual transition journey and starting tea and that I would have a VR headset and that I would have like I would still be working steadily and have a girlfriend I would be like you're fucking nuts dog that's fucking wild there ain't no goddamn way but here we are <laughs> here we are and I'm a very happy boy for it it was very nice uh, I'm gonna keep the twitch chat thing up I'll get a projector and have Squidward doing stuff against my house with sneakers. Yes! Dude, if I drove by a house and it had that going on, I would literally... I would have to get out and I would have to take either pictures or a video and just be like, Am I hallucinating something? What is happening? What is going on? <laughs> but like, in the best way possible. <laughs> That is some fucking fever dream shit right there. <clears throat> it makes me kind of sad because when you look, think when you talk about like decorations and stuff, how <laughs> camp outside every night. <laughs> fucking valid though. Uh, no, if you go back to when I was a kiddo forever ago, um, in my neighborhood, like almost every house would have like Halloween decorations and stuff, and we would actually have like groups of trick or treaters trick or treating. But that stopped over the years, and it's it's, it's kind of sad, really. I mean, I guess it stopped in a lot of areas over the years, but like for various reasons. But it still makes me sad because like that was fun, and it seemed pretty wholesome, and it was nice, and it's something everyone could do, and it, it was festive in like a spooky way, and I don't know. Now, trick or, like no one trick or treats in our neighborhood. We get like maybe a couple of people that'll knock on the door and get candy. And really only a couple houses in our neighborhood also decorate, which is just kind of sad. I kind of miss it. I kind of wish that that was more of a thing that people did. And again, it might just be a more my area thing because I do live in the ghetto, but it's just sad because we used to do those things. Why can't we still do those things, you know? I don't know. Every year we still dress up in some type of costume. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm lying. I don't always dress up anymore, but that's the household, especially Moon because they're younger usually dresses up every year and I think last year and the year beforehand my dad actually took Moon out to a different neighborhood to do trick-or-treating and that neighbor had that neighborhood had mostly decorated houses as well because there was an area where there was still a lot of trick-or-treating happening like it's sad that you have to drive when you are in certain areas now just to enjoy Halloween for what it is and I mean I guess especially if you have kiddos because trick-or-treating <laughs> like you get older you can just buy candy but yeah did I mention on stream what Moon was going to be cosplaying as or dressing as I'm actually a little proud of them so I don't have a plan to cosplay I was considering maybe grabbing like a red hoodie and wearing the one uh, red guy like cosplay hat beanie thing that I made that looks like a closet cosplay situation um but one of Moon's hyper fixations, I guess for the last little bit now actually, has been Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Um, so they found the individual pieces for a yellow guy costume. Uh, knee high yellow or knee high white socks, a pair of overalls, and a baggy, like comfy yellow sweater and a blue wig. They're gonna do makeup on their face to kind of look more like the character. And they hand sewed on the D to the overalls to match his outfit. 
I was just like, oh my god, that's adorable, that's awesome. I'm a little proud, because that's really cool. <laughs> a little bit of cosplay action. I think Endo's being something generic, and then I think Ewok is being Michael Myers. I could be wrong, though. Not 100% sure, because he has a few of the masks. I have bought him a few of the special, like, collector's edition masks. You know, the ones that you put in, like, an actual case? Those. <laughs> I can't justify buying them for myself, but I've bought them for him because he does like the movies. I mean, who doesn't like the movies, but he does like the movies. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude! I'm always usually something different. Last year it was a scarecrow. I made- I bought like a basic scarecrow costume. I think I took pictures at the time. I bought like a basic scarecrow costume, including like the hat and everything. And then I bought- because at the time I was also doing Red Guy. Uh, so I had a lot of random supplies. I also got some like autumn pumpkins and leaves and other things. And I hot glued them and put them onto the outfit. I also ripped and messed with a few of them. So, yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, zombie. Oh, hell yeah, hypnotic. I don't know. I don't really have like a plain costume this year. I don't know if I'm going to dress up. But yeah. Honestly, I just want to kind of have the. Since I started working, honestly, I just like having a calm day. It's nice to just have a calm day. Halloween's not, Halloween's awesome this year because I have it off, and then I actually have the next day off too because the next day off is Friday, so it's kind of nice to have all of them off. <laughs> I don't think I could pull that off. I originally hated the Halloween four mask, but I started liking how ugly it is. <laughs> That's fair as well. Alrighty, I'm gonna peace out. I've been procrastinating long enough. I, I I miss streaming as often as I used to stream, but at the same time, I like I, it's good to have a balance. I'm getting things done. I'm doing things, but I still get to kind of be lazy and chat with y'all and enjoy things with y'all. I do hate that the stream didn't end up the way I planned, but you know what? We made the best out of it. We still finished a single night in VR. I got to chat with all of you guys, and we got to watch some true crime. So could have been worse. Could have been so much worse. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for being here. It means a ton to me. Until next stream, friends. Goodbye.